Yes, yes, y'all. You know what it is. It's them kids and wives and nine two fives. But we are still married to the games. Episode three zero seven. You got it. <laughs> oh man, ice woof. All right, it's your boy Gabe Patillo <laughs> with Tim Router, Ed Placencia, and Chris McCracken, of course. And as always, we are talking games and life. Life and games. And if I was being completely honest. Mm -hmm. um, We would expect nothing else. I think zero of us want to be here right now. (laughs) (laughs) I I wouldn't say I don't want to be here, but the world doesn't want me to be here right right now. Exactly. This This morning does not want us here. And it was back in bed. This is a dig deep morning and we are uh, happy to do it. We're just uh, uh, we mad about it. We haven't had one of these in a while, <laughs> man. I guess we were had, due. Yes, exactly. It's like I guess when, we were due. It's like when Southwest had that window blow out and yeah, they right? almost wrecked. They're like, okay, well, nothing bad's ever happened to Southwest. So mm-hmm. they were due. Mm-hmm. It's oh, not that we don't want to be here. It's that we'd rather be here at like two in the afternoon. <laughs> <Right>. Exactly. <laughs> Anytime from after lunch on. <laughs> yeah, with food in our bellies and yeah. after a nice nap. We've had a couple <laughs> night shows and because of scheduling this week and next week are a little weird. We're back to mornings. And uh, <laughs> you'll never know the difference. Starting off with a doozy. Yeah. Uh, Ed Placencia, you are uh, misplaced. That's right. Where are you? Uh, I am in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, nice. Sarah, yeah, Sarah was down here for a Zumba convention, and it finished up on Sunday, and I flew down on Sunday and met her in Orlando, and then we drove up here to Jacksonville, where her brother lives, and going to hang out and see him and uh, her dad, and uh, just kind of spend a week uh, bearing with the humidity and the... Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, it's been nice. It's been it's been a nice trip. Um, uh, I I ended out the week up in Indiana, of course, just playing games. Yes, and uh, playing more games as you a do few more as I do. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was it was a good it was a good week. Um, of course, this weekend, my London Spitfire. Oh, oh. oh. spoilers! Ace is high, baby. Oh my goodness. And did you get to watch next- it? Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. was it too? I, I was under the impression, and I have to oops myself. I was under the impression it was on ESPN, not ESPN two. But and then was it two nights in a row? It was. I think. Um, I feel like maybe the first night was it on ESPN, and then okay. the second yes. night. Uh, it well, was- I think the second night it was something like it was on ESPN three or one of the other yeah, ones, yeah. something like that. How maybe many nights right. was it? It would have, it was two, um, it would have gone three games, but it only went two games. So it was two games. I watched two, it on ESPN two, nice. two. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. If you yeah, see like was, the little screenshot a... I took, you can see ESPN two logo in the bottom right hand corner. Okay. Oh, right. nice. Yeah. Maybe yeah, it, was it was two instead of three. I, I, I didn't even know one. there was an ESPN three. The Ojo. Yeah. There's know, ESPN right? three. I think there's an e- maybe, I, I don't know. And an ESPN right. plus, right? Yeah, or ESPN U uh-huh. or whatever. There's that too, and yep. I don't know. Wow. All kinds of ESPNs. ESPNs. <laughs> ESPNs. <laughs> but yeah, it was a it was a great the the first night especially Friday night the the, the game was just so close and it was such a good match. Um, Saturday not so much. That was uh, a they just wiped the floor with them. A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was it was a good game and it was fun. Who did they to play? Watch. They play Philly. They played Philly. Yep. yep. Yeah, oh, wow. and it was nice. Uh, the, the next day is when I flew down to Florida and wore my London Spitfire jersey and was so anxious to, like, oh, maybe in Chicago at the airport when I'm walking through, I'll see yeah. another Spitfire fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not nothing. happening. Yeah. No, it's not a thing. <laughs> it's not happening. Oh, yeah. nada. Ah. <laughs> I totally that believe that. I'm like, dang know. it. Man, really? <laughs> so. No one's as cool as you, Ed. Well, I was thinking maybe like in Chicago, I'd be, I'd like see someone who's coming from New York to, to broadcast or something, going back to LA or something like that. Yeah, that'd have been cool. That'd have been cool, but uh, no. Or heck, no just as another fan. Because I mean, that yeah, arena was exactly. sold out. 
I know it Barclays was Center, nuts. man. That was awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. It was so cool to see. But uh yeah, it was nice. Um I had a really early flight Sunday morning, so I did my Eduardo thing and uh just stayed up. Stayed up. Stayed I knew up it. Playing oh, Guitar geez. Hero all night long <laughs> Saturday. Oh night. wow. And I discovered on Guitar Hero Live, I don't know when they if it's an a relatively new thing they added since I played, or if it's always been there and I never found it. But they have you know, you can play online with other people, head to head against people, but they have kind of like a competitive mode with like ranked and seasons and what have you. And uh, I got into that and was loving that. So just played Guitar Hero all night long. Wow. And um, kind of the same thing. I played a little more uh, No Man's Sky, still enjoying that. Um, oh, that's I good. See, yeah, I see some more people in the community in Discord have either picked it up or have been tempted to pick it up. So I'm hoping that they're enjoying it as well. Um, played a little more Pyre. Not as into that as I am No Man's Sky. Oh, wow. Uh, so it's a little, that's a little too repetitive to me. It's just kind of a little bit of a story, then play like one of those basketball games, then a little bit of a story, then I'll play a basketball game. And so I don't, I'll probably continue playing it, but I'll probably play other things first um and then since i've been here in florida i've been playing a lot of uh aldo's odyssey that gabe you mentioned yes, a couple weeks ago sir oh man i love that game man so oh man oh i think gosh. if it was ten dollars i would still play it yes i would too definitely so definitely. what is it that's so good about it i don't know um it took me it took me a little while on this one i feel a little longer to if you you know it's kind of like a little downhill skiing thing and if you hold the press your finger against the touch screen he'll jump and do a flip and it's mm -hmm. been a little harder for me to see when he's right side up again in this one oh interesting uh, com compared to the last one but um mm. i don't know why i don't know if it's just the art is so soothing to look at it is so um, nice that's really nice it's got a photo mode limb it does yes if you if you pause it, there's photo mode and you can kind of move around the framing and take a picture and then it counts you back down to get back to playing. What? Yeah, I've taken like eight pictures, which is weird. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is weird. About like eight hundred percent more than the pictures I've taken in any other game I've ever played. <laughs> right. But uh yeah, it's been it's been good. Uh, Sarah Knight, yeah, um it was nice seeing her again and uh Oh yeah, your wife. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nice, right? Glad you yeah, like I bet her. that was pretty nice. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. And so it's it was weird because she was only gone for a, a few days, but it felt like it was a long time. So it was really nice. To All see that gaming you got done. I know. Right? You gamed enough for is. it to be a month. I know. That's right. <laughs> you probably gamed more in that time than I have in a month. Definitely. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, it was nice. Yesterday we were in Jacksonville and spent uh, a good part of the day. Just in a coffee shop working, and it was just kind of nice to do the coffee shop thing again. And, yeah. And, uh, so, yeah, it was good. It was good. So, looking forward to a, a relaxing week. And, uh, yeah, I won't get much gaming done except for Aldo, but uh, that's, that's not a complaint. That that's is a, not. I'll, I'll take that. Do you I'll know what that. level you're on? I just, this morning before we started recording, uh, got to uh, level 29. Ooh, nice. You're killing so. the game. I'm so trying to open it you. up real quick to see what level I'm on. Because <laughs> it's definitely like one of those things where I'm like sitting down and trying to put in work when, yes. I, when I play. Yes. And I remember the first one, I don't remember what the level cap was. And I remember after I hit the cap, that's when I stopped playing. Really? After you got the, like, the best person to ski with? Right, right. And then you, there was, because, you know, with each level, there are like three different challenges you try to do to proceed to the next level. That's right. And after I start, stopped getting the challenges, I was, I just dropped out. So I'll probably. Oh, I'm I, right in front of you. Level 31. Ooh, nice. Yes. Nice. Wow. So yeah, such a fun game. So great. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. And that, uh, that's been my week. It's been a good week. Good. Router. Yeah. yeah, buddy. What about you, brother? Well, um. Let's see, Piper's topic of the week week is uh, she's sleeping in her own bed this week. 
I can't believe it. Oh, yeah. It's, well, it's that's a, good news. It's a miracle. Yeah. For the um, rest of her life. Let's keep that going. For, yeah. Let's keep that. Yeah. Let's keep that moving. I, I would love to keep that moving. <laughs> um, we have been, uh, we basically kind of moved upstairs into the bedroom opposite her room because they were uh, finishing doing, uh, they were redoing the tile in our master bath. And so uh, that finally wrapped up um, yesterday because they had the guys demoed he demoed on wednesday and didn't have the right tool so he got like a, a sliver of the bathroom done and then thursday mm. no tuesday and then wednesday he brought in uh, like a more like a handheld jackhammer kind of a thing yeah and then the, he was able to demo that then thursday they laid the tile down it's nice and, and quiet then, and then friday yeah exactly and then friday they did the grout but while they did the demo they also uh nicked up some of the um uh, footboards. So Golly. Uh, the guy, they had the painters come in yesterday and they were, they were patching and painting and doing all that fun stuff. And so, you know, it's just, if it's one thing, it's another. And so mm. finally everything's done. There is so much dust. In oh, our house. I cannot it's imagine. Unbelievable how much dust there was. I mean, we had the door closed and everything and there's just a film of dust in our bedroom. So last night, Lauren and I were just cleaning it up and then tonight we'll probably move back down. And all that, all the while, Piper's been sleeping in her bed, and we keep the door open, and so I think she feels a lot better. And I honestly think she sleeps a lot better when she's in her bed by herself. There's no interruptions. She's not digging her knees into my back or mommy's back or what have you, and I think she actually sleeps a lot more sound because she doesn't move during the night. So I think we're on to something which is great. This is We kind of wanted to get her back in her bed hopefully before school starts which is a week from this friday which i can't wow believe. and um yeah but I, everything's been going really well she doesn't have any camps this week so we're gonna you know take a day off and, and do some fun stuff um my parents are gonna take her today and then um since philadelphia and go into the liberty bell and all that stuff we want to do a little bit more historic stuff so we may, might go over to the hermitage to andrew jackson's home Nice. So you oh, can kind of cool. see that, which would be a lot of fun. And yeah, she's she's you know she's been great. And you know, um, she ended her her camp yesterday uh, last week at Deer Run, which is really just a fantastic camp. It's really engaging. She did a zip line and did all hey. this. Great. This woman, this woman, little girl has no fear, and she's just <laughs> she had a really good time. And and so that was a really great camp to be involved with. And so uh, and so now we're just we're gonna prep her for first grade which i can't believe uh next friday they have a half day and then the following week is when everything really starts kicking off so we'll know who her teacher is uh this next week uh hopefully by the end of this week and then uh and then we're off to the races and i'm kind of kind of glad like the summer's great because you have those summer uh months where you can just it's kind of a free-for-all and you can do what you want but now you kind of go back into routine and I'm such a, a creature of habit anyway. I like kind of getting in a routine. We're going to you know, have school every day and there's not right. a, a whole lot of mix up. So we know the times and everything. And um, she's starting soccer again. We'll probably start practicing either next week or the week after. Her first game is already like August 18th. So um, we're <laughs> like practice. Practicing we don't need no soccer. practice. <laughs> no, you do like what it's essentially one practice and then first game. That's pretty much how that's going to go. But it should be all the same girls as before. We've had the same team for four seasons, and um, I think I don't think we have any uh, pe anyone that's dropped out. So it'll be fun. There you go. Um, yeah. Other than that, and because of all the dust, man, my nose is going nuts right now. Mm. Oh uh, so, yeah, I bet. So I mean, that's ceramic no dust. That's that exactly. thick dust too. That's it, not wood exactly. dust. Exactly. Allergies or no allergies, you, you're gonna get. You're gonna get snotty noses whether yep. you like it or not because mm -hmm. of all this dust. It's it's pretty. <laughs> it's your body insane. like why are you breathing all this in? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm trying are to you stop in a it. Vacuum cleaner? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's happening? Yeah. So anyway, it'll be nice to finally sleep in our bed again. But um, it's been it's been kind of fun. It's been our own like little apartment upstairs, and uh, <laughs> and so it's it's been definitely been a great lead off for uh, Piper getting into her bed now. So. And I, I understand it. It's kind of a big deal for her. She's like in our previous house, it was all one floor. And this is like, she's by herself upstairs in her, uh, in her own bed. So I can see that it's probably a little, you know, it'd be a little daunting at first, but we're going to do everything to try and 
you know, just assure her that everything's fine and, and she's Wait, doing well so, so let far. me So let me understand. Has she not slept in her bed? Is that just since this new house? Yeah, when we moved in the house, you know, we, we tried it for a little bit and she just got scared. I mean, I had a ba- I still have a baby monitor, so we still use that for her. Uh-huh. Um, so I can hear her because it's kind of hard to hear if not. Um, right. But she kept she kept waking up. And when she'd wake up, she'd call for me. I'd come upstairs. So like we just got like interrupted sleep the whole night. So mm-hmm. after a while, we're, like she would just come and snuggle with us. And then she just started sleeping in our bed. So we, from, you know, there were from couple- like 10 o'clock, like you just wouldn't even you just start her off there. Yeah. And then, then if she fell asleep, I'd carry her upstairs and she'd sleep for like two or three hours. And then I'd hear daddy like she would just turn, wake up and realize she's in her room. And yeah. I think it was just it was just just made her a little nervous. But I think she's definitely getting it more and more now. So and and honestly, some of it was just laziness on our part, too, because when she's in bed, like we're all sleeping. There's no <clears throat> interruption. Yeah, the like, I, don't have to yeah, go up, right. I don't have to go upstairs like because there's there was one night that I was up there like two or three times and I'd like put her back to sleep and then I'd come back down and then like an hour later she'd call me and it's just like, uh, you know what? It's just easier. Just sleep in here. You're fine. Mm -hmm. So, but I think it's, it's going well. So, um, it'll keep the boys away. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's for sure. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Unless, unless we really like them, then, you know, then we'll talk. Like I was going to ask Piper to prom, but you know, she still sleep with her parents. So (laughs) (laughs) no, it's, it's really funny. So, so that that's the sleeping habits of the routers. So there you go. Um, welcome aboard to that. <laughs> Other than that, just uh, work works just keeps work, piling work, up. Work, work. Exactly. <laughs> work, 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 And uh, having fun uh, watching all these in my feeling challenges and, yeah. and these dance challenges, which is hilarious. And uh, and then on the gaming front, I am four trophies away. From our plat, my platinum. Hey, it, now I'm all having, multiplayer related. It's all multiplayer now, so I will be jumping on um, probably this weekend, unless somebody's up at five o'clock in the morning for the ne- rest of the week. Um, I will. I'll jump on this weekend, and and somebody can uh, can help a brother out and get my platinum. But um, man, I just I don't like the arcade stuff very much. I hate that they require you to do this for the platinum. I mean, we didn't we didn't have to do this much in four um, to get the platinum. It was only like a few co op things that they required you mm. to do for the the trophy. But this is a little bit more involved with more multiplayer, and I'm like, but whatever, mm. it's fine. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm just uh, I'm gonna finish that up, and then I got to figure out what I'm gonna play next. I may go back to South Park because I never I have it, and I just never um, really kicked in to gear with fractured butthole. So that would be mm. a lot of fun. Um, and I could use a good laugh. Yeah, exactly. So we'll see. Um, and uh, Clash Royale. And that is it for me. There you go. McCracken. Yes. Let us know about it, brother. Um, I, I don't... <laughs> it's <laughs> it's right, kind of nuts On because <laughs> I don't really feel like much has happened. I feel like we recorded yesterday. I'm like, well, I know, right? Is that yeah. anything? <laughs> so um, over the weekend... Kind of took it easy, really. We stayed at home both Saturday and Sunday. My brother did come over on Sunday uh, because yeah, he he's the one that's he's the one that's doing uh, the lip sync battle with me. Mm-hmm. So it was our one time since we've uh, picked our songs so and everything that we kind of rehearsed, oh, if you will. That's so funny. So I mean, this is it was our one chance to kind of get together and, and but not that we're like choreographing anything really, but we just needed to have an awareness of, okay, he's going to be over here or I'm going to be over there or, or How did it go? Kind of what our plan was. Oh, it went good. I mean, well, I mean the, the one audience member we had was Stacy and she seemed impressed. So, <laughs> so <laughs> did, like, it that's like good. A, did it feel like a first place take it yeah, home? How's, back the, comp- to back how's the first place confidence right now? I mean, yeah, it, it always feels like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just I saying, love it, so, dude. Were they songs that he knew anyhow? Like, or did he have yeah, to learn yeah, them? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, nice. definitely the first one. The second one he knew in terms of like he's familiar with the song, but mm-hmm. I'd say the first song that we're doing, um, like he already knew a lot of the words and everything because it's just one of those songs we grew up with kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The awesome. other one is one of the ones where, oh, he knows that song as well, but 
maybe had didn't have like the lyrics memorized, so he was having right, to, right. to focus in on on some of that part. But it wasn't. I mean, the good thing about it is because it's not actually singing, and you have a microphone in your face. If you flub some of the words, like almost nobody's gonna know anyway. Mm-hmm. Right. Because you know? yeah. I mean, you're just mouthing and moving your mouth as the artist moves their mouth as well. So. Mm-hmm. It, and all he's going to be, be doing fun. is hey, and I say, hey, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. As we have our other blonde dancers. Yeah. Right there, four non four blondes. Of us. Yes. Yeah. Four non blondes. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, yeah. That would be awesome. Can't mess that <laughs> up. So that's, that's, it all starts actually the, the, uh, the whole, um, festivities of the whole, uh, what is it called? The back to school stuff and everything, all the fundraiser, if you will, it starts today. So when we get there, when I get to work today, I'll start putting up the little makeshift posters that I made <laughs> advertising us and everything like that. It. And I actually so talked to the, the actual girl battle? who's, no, it doesn't happen until Friday because you don't have awesome. to raise the money all week to see who's going to be part of it. So <laughs> I'm so um, excited. But I'm, I, I'd ask the girl who kind of runs it and the one who, you know, asks, asks for submissions for the lip sync battle and everything. I was like, how's it going? How, how many people are signed up or whatever? And she's like, well, it's you. And then it's like two other people, and we have one other one that's working on getting confirmation with a partner of theirs. I was like, really? Mm. Okay. I was, I was like, so it's at the moment, it could only be three of us up there. I was like, oh, that stinks. And she's like, yeah. And then she's like, if you, so if you know anybody or have any ideas of someone that might be interested, please try to recruit them. I was like, okay, cool. So I started just a couple different people that I thought, you know, either I tried uh, last year or whatever. I'll come and down. I was like, hey, right. man, why don't, you, why don't you try to do this? And nobody wants to do it. They're all like, no, 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 I'm not going to go up against... I mean, I'm I'm not going to go up Gabe. against you. And I was like, well, I was like, come on. I mean, I had, I had one good year. I, I need to be defeated. You know, who knows what's going to happen? Will no one wants, challenge the great yeah, McCracken? Do it. <laughs> I'll book, that that I'll is book the one thing I, of like... I think I have some Southwest points. Oh, let's do I that. I mean, you should. Honestly, that was the one thing that I was a little nervous about. I was like, well... Because nobody just expected me to do anything last year, so it was a total shock to them. Yeah, right. all the and I think that's off you. giving them rose tinted memories in a way to where, like, sh- I mean, I did a good job, but I mean, it's not like I was <laughs> undefeatable. You know, I mean, I could be beaten. Yeah, it just takes somebody to step up and do it. So yeah, yeah but I was it sounds a like you blew them out of the water. Somebody would be too shy about trying it. So, so we'll just have to see. I- I'm hoping that there's at least four. If there's only three people that end up signing up, or three groups, I guess. Yeah, I don't know how fun. they're going to do that because it won't be two versus two and then going to a next round. I- I'm not sure how they'll-, they'll have to figure something out. So mm. we'll just have to see with the way it goes. I'm sure somebody else will show up there and there'll be at least fourteen. I say you just walk up there and grab the belt and leave. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, there's not a there's not a belt. There's just a little micro. Yeah, but wouldn't it be hilarious microphone. if you made a belt? That's right. <laughs> there would be, but that, I'm not that gonna would be make amazing. A like a WWE yeah, belt. belt, something like that. <laughs> oh. I mean, if anybody's oh got gosh. one, and I can borrow it real quick. Yes. Send, hit me up. Just I'll, need I'll to bring one and have it sitting up there. Too. Yeah. Just on my shoulder the whole time as I'm doing whatever <laughs> no, I'm doing. So funny. Exactly. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Home of the champion. That, oh, that's, right. that's insane. Um, <laughs> outside of that, I mean, it's just been business as usual. Nothing really crazy going on um on the gaming side haven't really played a ton i did play some more h1z1 and i got to finally jump into overwatch with the whole all the wrecking ball stuff and give that a mm. shot i don't really have his little harpoony swingy who thing down very well at all mm. but he's still a fun little character to roll around in and and, mm-hmm. and figure out um so that's really cool uh i have been still playing the little mobile game that i the little racing csr2 i think is what it's called the mm-hmm. little uh drag race game or whatever just whenever i'm out and about they they have different pieces to incentivize you to log in each day and you can earn these points for that whatever there's like four digital currencies in that game so it's kind of annoying i'm Ooh. at a point now where i can't really advance because my car is not fast enough to beat the last few little bits of this mm. person that I need to defeat to go to the next area. But the only way to get my car fast enough is to acquire certain parts that you can just get randomly, like out of a kind of like a loot box. There's no way to just mm. purchase it with one of the five or four or five digital currencies. Mm-hmm. So I'm just kind of at the mercy of, I keep rolling these loot boxes when I get the free ones and hoping that a new piece drops to where I can finally defeat this person. And there's other little daily challenges that will come up, but I like I'll open the app, I'll play in it for like maybe five, ten minutes total, like throughout the day, and then that's it. So I can't really do much more. But it's still a lot of fun. I still enjoy seeing all the different cars and going and looking at and trying testing different <laughs> tracks and things like that. So but that's that's pretty much it. It's been very 
light and coming this week because, like I said, I feel like we just recorded yesterday. I know it's been longer than that, but that's really all I got for you. There you nice. go. Mr. Patillo, oh, yeah. where, are you, where are you headed this week on your excellent adventure? Oh, to the great Northeast. Yeah, buddy. Mm. Yeah, we got Kingdom Bound and some other things and a day off in New York, which will be nice. Oh, New York nice. City. Oh, nice. And oh, so uh, it'll so be great. Yeah, man, it'll be a good time up there. It's, it's interesting because I'll be up there on August 3rd, which is my mom's birthday, and I'm going to be in the place of her birth. So oh, uh, nice. uh, my mom so was cool. born in New York City. And so, uh, yeah, so I'll miss her birthday here. But uh, man, if I listen, this, <laughs> <Uh-oh>. Uh-oh. <laughs> these last couple days have been something else. Really? Oh, they've been so bad. So mm. we, um, we did two shows this last weekend in Eugene and in Springfield, Missouri. Mm-hmm. You know, two just bustling uh <laughs> just, you know it kind of reminds you of the metropolis Fort Worth yes. area yeah eugene oregon yes just oh, eugene okay. and springfield so you bounced from eugene to missouri yeah and it was just like getting out and back if it wasn't for the the college eugene <laughs> would be like the smallest town ever you know it, it, mm-hmm. it would be another yeah. city in, in oregon mm-hmm. and um so we did get to perform at the baseball field there. I think it's called like PK field or something there on the campus of the college. And so that was cool, but it was like getting out there was just like delay, cancel flight, change no. flight, delay, oh. delay. And so like, mm. we didn't get in there until like, I think body blow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think we got to our hotel at like uh 1230 when we had, I'd left my house at like, 12 30 in the after, in afternoon Ugh. and so it's just like a full day of traveling you know first world problems i get it and then we do the show in eugene and then the next day we have to fly and perform to springfield missouri and so that flight is at oh, wow. 5 15 in the morning and so Ugh. we had to meet in the lobby at 3 15 and mm, it was yeah. like your body is just like i i can't like i can't right now <laughs> I, I don't want to and i can't and so wow um, and so we fly to springfield that flight's delayed so we have to like stay but they didn't delay it till we were already in the plane of course and mm. so we're in this like little itty bitty plane for an hour and a half you know while they're like uh yeah the system is not working and you're like okay i don't know what that means but just we i'm glad we're not just trying to fly just because you know mm-hmm. and so um that <laughs> that's going on and we're like what is going on and then we get to the place everybody's like in great spirits like huge shout out to our crew and and the band like everybody stayed on top of it did their jobs nobody was you know because it's just so easy for a morning like that to go bad you know what i mean right mm-hmm. right and then uh we get to springfield we do the show and then like the bu- <laughs> More first world problems. The bus that met us, that drove us back home, was just like super old school. And and it had like, for those that don't know, in in a bus, there's kind of three areas. There's like the front sitting lounge. Then in the Mm -hmm. middle is where all the bunks are, where we sleep. And then in the back Mm -hmm. is a back lounge. Well, in Mm. between those sections is usually a sliding door. Like 98% of the time, there's a sliding door, kind of like you would think of like a pocket door that would go mm-hmm. into lead into a bathroom or a closet or something. And so that's usually what you have on this bus. It was like just a swinging regular door. Like yeah. when then you would like turn a knob and swing it in and, and mm-hmm. those didn't latch in the night. Uh, and so oh, they oh, would oh. just bang, bang, <laughs> bang, oh. bang. Mm. And so, and <laughs> you know, your head's right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> so, right. Uh, where Toby and them, the people that sleep in the front of this, the bunk area, their feet are at the door, where us in the back, our heads are at the door. Mm. And so it was just like all night of that. Bang! Bang! And so you're not getting much, much sleep there. Nobody was, had any duct tape? <laughs> well, you're like so tired. You're like, ah, I know, I just like trying to push it in one up. direction. Jiggle the just, handle. Just throw a pillow on the floor. Exa- oh, trust <laughs> yeah. me. We've done that plenty of times. <laughs> So anyway, it was just like three 
to four mm. nights of just really bad sleep. And then oh, yeah. dude. obviously we're here this morning. Grateful Hello. to be here. Yes, we it are. It just hurts bad. Mm-hmm. Um, but I digress. I understand that I have one of the best jobs on the planet. It just comes with some things sometimes. Sure. As all jobs do, brother. Don't mm-hmm. worry about it. So, um, yeah, shows this weekend, this last weekend. This weekend, we're, uh, yeah, in New York. That's going to be a good time in, in New Jersey. Playing Six Jersey. Flags. Six Flags, New Jersey. Ooh, mm-hmm. nice. Uh, oh, wow. This weekend. And then uh, headed over to Wycliffe. 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 <laughs> good old is, Wycliffe. Is it Wycliffe, Ohio? Wycliffe? Oh, oh, I thought Ohio. you meant Jersey. No. There's a Wyco- there's a Wyckoff jersey. Oh, anyway, continue. and this is Carry on. Yeah, is it like where the is it like a, a is it like a theological seminary or something? I know there's one called Wycliffe. I don't know oh, if it's in that city. It, oh, sorry. Maybe it's Wycliffe, Ohio, but then in parentheses it says Cleveland. So I don't know what that means. Oh, no, all right. There you go. Wycliffe rocks. Wycliffe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Maybe the IT guy can tell us what it is, how to say yeah, it. Yeah, come yeah, on, IT yeah, guy. Yeah. yeah, come on, Matt. So, so Gabe, when you're when you're in New York, what's your go- do you have like a go-to place that you go to all the time when you're there? You know what? We don't usually have days off there. And so Ooh, mm-hmm. um, it's rare so it's that it's going to be a free for all. Yeah. So I'm trying to just like get it done. Um, nice. I, I am going to actually have a meeting with uh, somebody there. It, it was really weird. I was talking to our light guy about like somebody had saw, I had posted on like Instagram that I did a Walgreens commercial, like a Walgreens mm-hmm. VO thing. It was a very good one, might I add. Oh, thanks. Mm-hmm. And it was the first time that I was like a, a cartoon. Like that, I was. Mm. It's a cartoon commercial, and uh, I was like, "Oh, look at me!" Oh, mm-hmm. oh, nice brown with a flat top. I was like, "I used to have that haircut." <laughs> <laughs> um, and so uh, I was talking to our light guy about that, and he goes, "Oh, my, bro- my brother's girlfriend is the voice of L'Oreal, like the you know the mm. product." Oh, nice L'Oreal, mm-hmm. and she lives in New York. And, and they, uh, you know, and I was like, oh, snap, do you think she'd come talk to a brother? <laughs> and, and so mm-hmm. he hit him up and she was like, she's totally down and excited to talk. So, oh, nice. yeah, I hope to talk oh, to her and just cool, pick her brain about the thing and how she got into mm-hmm. it and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's the only plans I have in New York. So, Beautiful. Yeah, man. Cool. Other than that, it's, uh, you know, life is regular. I haven't been able to game at all. We did. Um when I say game at all, like here at home, um, I haven't gamed much with the, with the usual suspects. But I did beat the the Shaq Fu game on the nice. Switch. Oh yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. I sorry, did not uh, like that. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> There's was a surprise. It the whole time you didn't like it, or just the end? It was like I I you know every game. I've never started a game off like I don't like this from the very beginning. You know, mm-hmm. so it's like I just never. I, I don't think so. Like to where huh. you just, if I don't like it from Jump Street, then usually I just won't play it anymore. You know, so yeah. it's like one of those things mm-hmm. where I was, I gave it all these, you know, chances because I was like, well, number one, it's free because since I had NBA Playgrounds, you got this game for free. Mm-hmm. Number two, it's Shaq Fu. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not holding it to any kind of standard mm-hmm. yeah there, there's really. not a high standard there yeah um and then number three i didn't really have anything else i was playing on the switch at the time um we were i was been playing a lot of pokemon quest with the kids but i didn't want to play that when i wasn't at home so i've mm-hmm. been playing that on the road so it was kind of like you get into it and you're like you know after you know it's probably takes you ah five hours, four hours to beat, maybe on the long side. It's not a long mm. game. And so yeah. I just had kind of picked it up and played it every once in a while. It's just a button masher, you know, and uh, the story's, you know, just so stupid. And um, But it's <laughs> but Shaq voices himself. And so that's kind of like funny and, you know, just hearing him <laughs> is hilarious. His voice is just so unique. and um, oh, you t- Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I see how. And so, um, the, we talk uh, about Chuck. We talk about Chuck. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Chuck, that is ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Um, mm-hmm. And so, by the time I was like, I don't like this game, 
I looked at the the quest and I was like, oh, I've got like two more levels to go. Yeah, just do mm. it. Yeah, and so I just finished it out begrudgingly. Like, there this is stupid. Um, I would have stopped right at the last, when you can see the, the little cross line, the little check mark for the last little level, I would have stopped just in protest. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I won't do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I beat it and put the credits picture up and then yesterday which i haven't put the credits picture up yet though uh me and the family did beat pokemon quest so that was hey. oh, nice and for a, how many go. how many games have you beaten as part of your new year's resolution now so that would have made eight out of seven pokemon quest you, very Beautiful. nice dude so i've i've finished my resolution and i'm now going for uh the bonus levels yeah, you might nice. get a top 10 list yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, yeah, it's true. I'm scared I might not get there. <laughs> Come on, Christopher. If I can do it, you can nah, do it. You'll get, you'll get there. I know. I need to go back and finish Detroit, but this stupid H1. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Well, that's yeah. your own fault then. <laughs> the thrill of the win, man. I just want to keep I know, climbing to the so top of the mountain. Good. It's so good. That's funny. Um, that's cool, though, that you, that you didn't get like, you know, I know it's not the same game, but you didn't get like your chicken dinner and you're like, okay, I'm good. Like that's cool that you're still playing it. Yeah, I I re- I, I don't know what it is. I, it's just it's more fun to play. I like the on the console version, anyways. Like I just mm-hmm. PUBG just very much feels like a PC game that they shoehorn to make work on the console. And then with H1, like I never played the PC version, just like I did with PUBG. But it feels you can tell that they built it to work well that version to work well on a console and it that's just right. feels good yeah and i just i mm. think that's more than anything the reason that i stick there because the gameplay feels good i think the best thing they did bringing h1 from console to and it, it to from pc to console and and it bugged me at first but i think the biggest thing and i think it's what hurts pubg just a little bit is the inventory system yep like totally. when, when I first played it on console, I was like, oh, where's my inventory? I can't make bandages and stuff. And then, but once you like get into it and you get into what the game really is, which is trying to survive one out of 90, one out of a hundred, like then that kind of works its way to the background a little bit. And you're not so frustrated that mm. that's not there. And I feel like PUBG's inventory system, at least when I was playing it on console is so janky and ugly and hard to work. And like, unless you really know it, like, okay, this scope goes with this gun. Let me put this gun over here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It takes a lot of get, doing that before you're like, okay, I can do mm-hmm. this now. You know? I mean, in, in PUBG, and I don't remember, I've said this before, but because it has all the different inventory stuff, like you're, it's kind of like you're saying, not only am I constantly looking for the better weapons, but I'm constantly looking for the better attachments for the, I'm trying to build the perfect weapon to try and help me win at the very end rather than focusing on just surviving and strategy and making it and putting myself in the best position to have a shot at winning. Whereas in H1, because the weapons just are what they are, there's definitely a few weapons are like, these are the, the best weapons in the game. If you have this, you have a really good shot. But even if I get to the end and I don't have one of the best weapons, I still feel like if I can position myself well, I still have a shot at winning. That's right. So it, That's it right. lets mm-hmm. me focus on playing the game and not worry too much about the weapons. I mean, it's still something you need to think about. But as long as you hit up a few areas and get a decent weapon, you're like, okay, I'm good. And that's, yeah. I think that's what I like because I really did the whole time during, P- or excuse me, during PUBG, I just kept thinking... I need to get a better weapon so I can win. I can't win without weapon X. Whereas mm. this one, as long as I got something I'm comfortable with, I feel like I got a fighting chance. And then I can just focus on being stealthy or hiding or or like, oh, if I go here and wait in this location, likely nobody's going to come up behind me so I can just focus in this area and then I can find out where they're going to be. And then I can put more, way more strategy to it. With PUBG, I just... I, it, mm. My brain wasn't working that way. I was so consumed with just having the better yada, yada, yada all the time. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. It's, it's, I did not expect it. And still, like, every time <laughs> I turn it on, I'm like, why am I starting this game again? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, so I hope in the next uh, couple of weeks, uh, number one, to move out to the shed, but also to dive further into um horizon zero dawn and yes please call back up with that and so i'm really on the fence whether i should take my playstation this weekend because mm. i'm we leave tonight and i'm gone till monday Ooh, and so there's a lot of time there but it's just like 
sometimes just gaming on the bus when you're not on tour gaming on the bus is rough because on the bus is where everybody lives when you're on tour people like getting a rhythm and you kind of go into the you know when you're in arenas and everything you go into the dressing room and you kind of unload your stuff there where when you're kind of hopping around from festival to festival there's not always a comfortable place to go so you end up staying on the bus and then Mm -hmm. when you stay on the bus then for me i just feel like i'm in the way and so i don't like to you know set up around everybody and i just know at some of these places kingdom bound soul fest there's not always a refuge the bus is Mm -hmm. the refuge Yeah, yeah exactly um so i don't know i'd love to play some h1 on the road though i mean some horizon zero dawn Oh, it'd be awesome. So. I'd love for you to do that, too. Uh, I might throw I it in my backpack it, and just see what happens. I think you're going to love it. Yeah. All right, that's it for me. Uh, Router. Yes, sir. You got it? Si, senor. Well, let's do it! It's going to be really easy. Uh, new releases <laughs> this week. Uh, we have Titan Quest for the Switch, Chasm for the PC, PS4, and Vita, South Park, the Fractured Butthole, Bring the Crunch DLC mm-hmm. for the PC, PS4, Xbox Bring the One, Crunch. and Switch, Woo. <laughs> 1979 Revolution, Black Friday for the PS4, Shake Switch, and Xbox One. Shake down 1979. <laughs> Man, he is in lip sync, lip sync <laughs> battle mode, isn't he? Right. He's ready to go. Uh, Flat Heroes for the PC and Switch. Armored Warfare for the Xbox One. And Salt and Sanctuary for the Switch. Um, no oops. And Salt I, and Sanctuary is supposed to be dope. Well, there you go. People were really, really glad that that came over to, came over to the Switch. Yeah, August it's supposed 2nd. to be very frustrating, it's, too. So, oh, FYI, really? Anybody mm. want to, well, it's, it's basically like a side-scrolling Dark Souls so it's, oh ooh, lord yeah. oh no thank you yeah but it that. looks great i mean I, it looked really pretty mm. no, if good. i'm if i'm thinking of the right game shoot maybe i'm gonna have to oops myself Goodness uh. gracious. <laughs> well you would up. only be oopsing yourself because it's all internal um so we have no oops uh speaking of that and uh still no mpd for june i don't know why it it just hasn't posted yet and i've done a google search for everything and they still have uh may results so i don't know we might have to skip took- june Right. Yeah, maybe they just took a week yeah. off and it's a summer and they're like, ah, everybody's they, they fine. Need, they need to have vacation too. So they I took guess, a month off. I guess. Yeah. So maybe we'll have, I'm pretty sure we'll have June uh, NPD next week, which I'm, for me, I'm just curious. I want to see how the summer, yeah, summer how the kickoff going. to the summer really was going. Um, so that's it for me. Back to you guys. I have to say too, though, real quick, my wife did surprise me and took me to the movies last night. Mm-hmm. Oh, sweet. What'd you see? Mission Impossible. Ooh, oh, yeah. I heard that was good. Yeah. That was fun, man. Yeah, man. That nice. was a good one. Yeah, good job, Tom Cruise. Nice. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I liked it. And Henry Cavill. The whole Superman. reason he had the strange lip thing on Superman's because of Mission Impossible. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what he had the mustache for. And Oh, that's funny. You know, I wonder going forward if they'll think, you know what? Maybe it would have been easier to CGI on a mustache than no, CGI a off. No, fake mustache. Is the or best that, thing. Yeah. You know what? I didn't but, even think about that. That's yeah. even simpler. J.J. Abrams, though, you're all about that realness. <laughs> like CGI. Yes. I is guess. he the one who uh, is. D- it's it's a he bad. Direct- he produced it. It's oh, a, okay. Gotcha. It's a bad robot you know, situation. I think he's oh, done the Mission Impossible since, is? Yeah. You know, he's been doing them. I didn't know that. Mission Impossible 3 was his first movie, you know. Oh. J.J. Okay. Abrams. Oh, what a beast. Right? The old J. Anyway, Christopher. Yes. Give it to us. All right. So we have uh, a new, a little bit more stuff or action happening on over at the Google side with their mysterious kind of console division that oh. they're kind of confirming, but not really. Okay. Um, so they have a new hire. They hired Richard Marks, who is the designer oh, of the, the PlayStation what? VR, the PlayStation VR hardware. Really? Yeah, yeah. So Richard, uh, he was with Sony since 1999, and he worked uh, in the Magic Labs department, and they were dedicated to all the new technology. So he had a big hand in play- in creating the PlayStation Move, the Eye, the PlayStation VR hardware, and other you know quote pie in the sky projects at Sony. And actually, mm. he he uh, got hired over at Google now, and he's working there with Phil Harrison, who also used to be at Sony. He, although Phil Harrison was also at Microsoft at one point. 
And they're joining Google's advanced technologies and projects team. So mm. they're still not mm. really confirming that it is indeed going to be a console that they're working on or something gaming related. In fact, they came out and they <laughs> said that all they know. Yeah. And they're just calling it the ATAP, which is their acronym for the advanced technology and projects team. Mm. And they said that ATAP is an intersection of science and applications where our goal is to solve significant problems and close the gap between what if and what is. Oh. That's, that's, so that's what ATAP nice. is. And they've got two uh, big gaming guys that are working at ATAP. So I'm sure it's gaming related. But that's really cool because, I mean, clearly the PlayStation VR did well for itself. And most people that are in the VR world say that the Sony, the PlayStation VR is one of the most comfortable headsets. So you got a good hardware guy that also has other hardware stuff that he's made in the past for gaming related. So, I mean, it only helps that he could bring some cool hardware stuff to the the Google side if they're indeed going to introduce some type of console, be it streaming or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. mm. I said that was a good get for them. Yeah. It's awesome. Hopefully, I mean... I always get excited when people like Facebook, you know, when they bought Oculus and mm -hmm. uh, when these huge companies that just have seem to have just endless amounts of money, unlike movie right. pass, um, do something yeah, like right? this. Oh, jeez. Uh, um, because uh, <laughs> I was so bad at movie pass last night. Oh, my gosh. Uh. Um, because, you know, you just never know. Sky's the limit when you have that kind of um, that kind of bankroll and when you're a place that people want to be. Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying one of my buddies works at google and he loves it yeah i mean it's mm -hmm. still a yeah. hard job and everything but like he really en enjoys it and enjoys his team and and stuff like that and so you're like man if you have endless money and you're a place that people want to come work at like it's mm -hmm. just the sky's the limit man yeah yep yep um well spider-man has gone gold for the ps4 Hey. Yeah, meaning the game is ready for a huge patch to be downloaded on your com your console. <laughs> That'll be thirty two <laughs> <Right>. gigs. <please. laughs> yeah, gold just doesn't mean the same that it used to mean. Yeah, you know, it's like, hey, you could play it, or it's like, we got it close enough to where. Yeah, it mm -hmm. yeah, definitely going gold one of those... is really more of a last gen or whatever kind of thing, <laughs> or, and... or three gens ago. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I'm not a huge. Uh, I'm not a huge like boohooer of day one patches. They've become part of the thing and I don't even notice them anymore. Really. It seems yeah. like by the time it's installed, then the patch is downloaded as well. And so I feel like well, the, for most games, it, yeah, it seems like the installation takes when I had to reinstall horizon zero dawn, I was like, mm. Holy crap, this is taking forever. Oh. And that was just off the CD. So, mm. right. Um, anyway, it's gone gold coming out September 7th. So right now they're going to be uh, pressing them up, making the manuals, putting them in the, in the things and sending them out to the places. Oh my gosh. I can't also, wait. Also, if you do, uh, if you're a digital release person, at least on the PlayStation side, and I'm assuming the Xbox is the same, which granted this is a PlayStation exclusive, but when you, when it preloads the game, usually mm -hmm. the day one patches is, is included in that. So nice. When you go to play the game, the first, it's just all downloaded there and you don't have to wait on anything. So it's really, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so but it, that doesn't help you if later on down the road you delete it and you want to re-download it and play it again. Well, <laughs> yeah, you're have to, right, right. You're back in the you're same. You're gonna boat. have to wait. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was so interesting with it coming out in September. I thought it was. Uh, I I've kind of poo pooed the previews and everything like that, and I feel like uh, I was like excited when they first announced it. Then like it waned a little bit, and the fighting seemed mm -hmm. slow to me. I talked about, but then this last trailer, I think it was at. Uh, right before Comic-Con or during Comic-Con when they um, kind of showed more of the story elements and like some mm -hmm. of the friends and things you'll have in there. It like kind of totally re uh, rejuvenated me for this, the game. So I don't know hmm. anybody else feeling yeah, like, like that. A roller coaster. It's been like a roller coaster ride for you. Yeah. I was like, yay. Oh. And I'm like, all right again. So. <laughs> I've, I've been into it every step of the way so yeah, I, my interest didn't wane at any point i saw what you where you were coming from and kind of what you were saying but i was like yeah, ah, yeah. it still looks good to me and i feel like sure i, I always don't want them to show me much any uh, anymore and in fact i stopped watching trailers you know i did too. after the one so before because i was like well i don't really want every new character spoiled for me that's going to be our villain or whatever it's yeah. like i i, I want to have something left to the imagination i i trust that it was going to be good so, so. e3 mm -hmm. was the last trailer you guys watched yeah, yep. mm -hmm. it's hard for me because like Mister <laughs> Mister Negative 
or whatever mm-hmm. they're calling him. Like I, that just looks stupid <laughs> not super to me for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. And for so, me to somebody who like, I didn't even know who he was and, and I'm not like either. a major comic yeah, fan, I but either. I read a lot of Spider-Man back in the day and watched, you know, cartoons. It's, it's not like, I don't know who Spider-Man is. And I was like, who the heck is this? Did they make him up for this? Oh no, he's an actual character. Huh? Okay. But it's like I mean, squirrel girl. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I just still think uh, he's you, fake. You think that the thing that you think is just made up. Yeah. I thought Mr. Negative <laughs> was just for the game. Yeah. So mm-hmm. did I. Turns out, no, come. Comic book people are like, no, Mr. Negative, that's, that's really cool. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, awesome. All right. Yeah, all right, nerds. He's black and go. white. Uh, yeah, he's negative. Uh, yeah, he's inverted. Uh, I, w- I just thought that for all the commercials to be pinned around Spider Man and Mr. Negative, I was like, oh, no, <laughs> like, I don't <laughs> like that guy. <laughs> mm. What else you got, Christopher? So, one of Magic the Gathering's rarest cards, oh, yeah, the Black Lotus. Recently mm-hmm. sold on eBay for eighty-seven thousand six hundred and seventy-two dollars. Wow! What? I laughed and all the way from Kinkos. Did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> right. I've sold three oh, of these. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so the Black Lotus. Uh, one of the reasons that it's so rare is that it was only printed in the original Alpha run of the the card game. And there's only 1,100 of them made, which sounds like a lot to me, but I guess that's really rare in, in all hmm. of the magic lore of all the other cards. Well, they started I, making the them, ones- so they, start, they made so many after, and for it not to be redone, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Is- yeah, it's not one of the ones that has ever been reprinted, and I, I believe some other ones have. And it's one of the strongest cards, which I don't know anything about Magic the, the Gathering. I don't know how the game works, but... This card gives you three mana of any single color of any choice to put in any mana pool, which apparently is like a big deal. Mm, yeah. I, I'm just going to take <laughs> I'm gonna take its words for it. <laughs> and part of the reason that the price actually went for 87,002 is not just because it's a powerful card because it's rare and it's, you know, one of the most famous cards in Magic, but it also had a 9.5 grading out of 10. Oh, wow. So, yeah, oh, which wow, is yeah. really, really good grading. You know, anybody it, who. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can follow that. Like, and, and it was done by it was evaluated by Beckett who is one of the big players in the card systems, like for Mm -hmm. baseball cards and football cards and other things like that as well. So it's a legit card. And I I, honestly, I'm, I don't know if what I was thinking, but I kind of was expecting it to be for like a hundred, 150 grand. I was like, I'm expecting this to be like six figures. So I'm actually kind of a little disappointed. I was like, ah, you could have got a little more out of that. Come on. Oh man. $88,000. I mean, you can go buy a Porsche for that. That's true. You could have paid off the Tesla for some paper. Yes, you could have. (laughs) <laughs> yeah exactly right so, old i will paper. say this it does look it looks like a cool card i mean I, there's that's one thing about magic Day gathering cards like all their art looks really cool anyways but i've always thought the black lotus just looked kind of cool so and then you add on the fact that it's super rare and worth you know five figures it's like hey there you go that's a good card yeah i mean I- <laughs> <laughs> that was worth it yeah that's crazy did you play any magic back in the day chris no, I've never. I, I had a friend who kind of got into it. I never actually went and saw him play. He just told me, like, hey, I got into this card game called Magic. Like, back when it came out, I feel like. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but I never even paid attention to what it was. And it wasn't until maybe a couple years ago that I finally started looking online, like, what is this all about? Because that's when I, around the time I got into Hearthstone, I was like, well, this, I've always heard about this Magic game. Let me see what that's about. I was like, this is way too deep for me. I'm not, I'm not going down this mm-hmm. road. Mm-hmm. A, and I didn't know anybody that yeah, played like anyways. And back then, I don't think there to was catch a, up on. Yeah, I don't know. There was a digital version of it back when I was kind of looking into it. So yeah, I, I same thing here. I like had a friend that played and tried to explain it to me at one point. And you're like, oh, tap this, tap that. Then you can attack with it. And I was like, uh, I'm good. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> can we go back to Space Ace? Same friend. There you go. <laughs> same friend had Space Ace on Laserdisc. Oh, that's so funny. Nice laser disc, mm-hmm. right? Um, so Fortnite is coming to the Android phones, but it wasn't it, already. It hasn't come yet. No, that's PUBG. Uh, um, and so right? Yeah, I don't think I, that. I don't know. I don't think I just Fortnite's assumed it was on absolutely everything. I figured like, oh, look, right? I'm playing Fortnite on my refrigerator. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's just what I expected these days. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Fortnite's on the uh, on Android yet. Yeah, PUBG is, but mm. not um, mm. Fortnite. Anyway, so people are kind of speculating and things like that. Winter was taking so long, and it looks like it is going to 
kind of have some hardware restrictions in the in the in the sense of like just because you have an Android phone doesn't mean you're gonna be playing some Fortnite. And so right. people have been looking for a list. So XDA uh, developers, who I used to go to all the time when I used to hack my phones, uh, has put a list of the games that it looks uh, the list of the phones that the game looks like it's going to be playable on. And mm-hmm. there's oh, there you go. And there's kind of a rumor that they might be doing a launch with Samsung's S9 Plus and have it be an exclusive to Samsung phones for a second. Oh, right. So we shall see. But a bunch of the Samsungs, uh, the newer Motorola's, some of these Sony Xperia phones, the Google Pixel 2 and 2XL, um, and the Nokia 6 and the Razer phone are are some of the phones that are on the list that will be able to be, um, that will be able to play Fortnite. So... We'll see what happens, but if you want to head over to xda-developers.com, you can see the full list uh, that they've pulled and see if your phone's on there. If it's not, there you go. It might be time to uh, get that old upgrade. Get the old mm. upgrade going. Mm-hmm. You're still on that old green and black flip phone. <laughs> Fortnite's not on there. No. Mm. Snake. Yeah, or, just snake. Or ca- cannon string back in my day. <laughs> exactly. What else you got, Chris? Nokia brick phone. <laughs> hey. Um, the last thing that I have is there was a game called Abstractism. It mm. was being sold on Steam. It was a PC game. It was just a small little abstractism. Mm. It was just a small little puzzle platformer. It wasn't super heavy on the graphics. It was just this little block on the screen, and you had to like move it around these little areas and everything and people started reporting on steam forums that man this game when i am playing it my pc my cpu and my gpu are just pegging at the very end like they is tearing my machine apart i don't understand what the deal is and then after a little bit more digging it turns out that the developer had hidden in a little bit of code to where the game was Mining for Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. Wow. On everybody, on everybody <laughs> that bought its computer. Unbelievable. And, <laughs> and so Steam ended, Steam ended up pulling the game from, <laughs> from the hilarious. store. That's, That's so pretty much. funny. Now, I will say that the developer <laughs> has denied that it is mining for any type of cryptocurrency. It said probably, he said, probably you are playing the game with high graphic settings because it takes a bit of CPU and GPU power nah, required man. for post-processing mm-hmm. effects and mm-hmm. rendering. That would you see the game. But again, it's just a square moving around <laughs> some old jumpy things. That's so That's funny. And there awesome. are certain things inside the game that incentivize you to want to keep the game running. Like, oh, after so much time, you'll get this drop. And obviously mm. that all goes more towards the evidence that it's mining for Bitcoin because not only does it use your CPU and GPU very extensively, but it also sends a lot of network traffic and it is, and it's something that you want to be doing for a long time. So the longer these machines stay on, the more mining they do for, for the developer. Yes. That's so, hilarious. Yeah. So wow. just buyer beware. I mean, you can't get it anymore, at least on steam and I'm sure it's not available anywhere else unless you get it directly. So hopefully anybody who might be interested in looking for this game will know better now and yes. not go and grab it. Unless you just want to help the dude out and mine some Bitcoin for him. <laughs> just help the guy out. People yeah. are, some people are the worst, man. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. <laughs> They're also very pretty clever. sneaky. Yeah, that's pretty sneaky. Right. I know. Can you imagine, like, just, like, the, the selfishness that has to go into that planning? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, this is what I'm going to do. And I might have everybody make me some money on the side of my Bitcoin. <laughs> my gosh. His uh, game was free, though, right? Was it free? Uh, I don't know if it was free or not. It would be smart if it was free. Yeah, right. yeah, it would be smart. smart. Shoot, now I need to find out. This article <laughs> doesn't say whether or not it was free. Well, Ed has helped this, but No Man's Sky pulled in nearly 100,000 concurrent players over the weekend. Wow. Which is so amazing because it just shows Good that yeah, their hard work is paying off. And that's almost half of what they pulled in when they first launched two years ago. Mm. And so wow. I think that's really cool. They um, they pulled in 97,000 players um, this last Sunday, which actually surpassed The Witcher 3's all-time peak of 92,000. What? Wow. Yeah, right? You know, it's a single-player game, Witcher, you know. Um, 
So it might might not be a huge uh, hurdle, but it does kind of put things in perspective when you think of The Witcher and how popular it was. Yeah, really. So, Ed, will you talk to us? I feel like there was a lot of talk on Twitter, and I know Chris has been feeling some kind of way. Can you just kind of break down some more to us, like what you're liking about this game, what it kind of feels like? You still digging it? Yeah, I'm still digging it. It's just, it's a very, um, it's a pretty relaxing game. Okay. Uh, so the the busy work that you find yourself doing, um, I don't know. It doesn't, even though you're grinding for things, literally, because you're mining uh, rocks and stuff, it doesn't yeah. feel like a grind. It's just kind of like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Maybe I'll get some over here. They just, I don't know. It, it um it's, what it's, keeps you around? Like, what do you like about it? There's always one more thing you need to do, you know? Huh. And, yeah. and, and it's one of those games that it's really hard to find a stopping point because as soon as you, oh, I need this so I can build this. And as soon as you build it, it's like, great, you build it. Now you can do this. Oh, okay, I'll go do this. And you go do that. Oh, great, you did that. Now you're able to do this. And hmm. so it's just always that constant carrot on a stick of just, I just need to do one more thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so it's nice. It, it um, yeah, it, it it it's 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 hard to put into words, I guess, what it is about it. But it's just you know, like uh, Arctic Warlock said, it's just a time suck. And then have and, you gone to it, like, like, is there any more planets to find? Like, are they all taken? Do you still get to name a planet or? Oh yeah, be def- the first people there. Brew, there's a Brew Daily's planet out there. Is there? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, nice. <laughs> it's just all coffee and. Love. Exactly. So I think all of the planets I've landed on have been, I've been the first one to discover them. All of them? Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. I think oh so. Oh gosh. Um, and then it's pretty cool too, because you can set up little computers so that when people go, if they do find your planet and they go in that area, uh, a message will pop up on their screen and you can make it say whatever you want. Oh, no that's way. So cool. There is a planet that if you walk into a certain area, it just it just says, Hi, have you had coffee? <laughs> hey, I was gonna say coffee anyone? Yeah, coffee and married to the games. Exactly. That's awesome. So yeah, it's been it's been fun. And there's also um aliens that you encounter and you try to learn their language. And if you talk to them and you're you're nice, they'll teach you a word. And so you can kind of gradually learn this alien language. And the more you talk to them, the more you can interact and trade and and, what uh, about kill? Yeah, is there nice. any killing? There is killing. Ooh. Um, yeah, you you have a gun. Uh, you can uh, anger the alien race you've been working hours and hours to make friends with. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> if, if you shoot what you think is an asteroid and is actually one of their space stations. Oh, <laughs> shoot. Did you do that? They do, they do not like that. <laughs> That's frowned upon, I think, in alien culture, yes. <laughs> they will send spaceships after you. So. No way. And what and yeah. what, what happens when they send a spaceship after you? Uh, I kill them, and then I go to a planet in hyperspace and hide. <laughs> That's amazing. Do you hide, really? Do you have to hide? I, I, yeah, I, went, I flew to another planet and just laid low for a bit. And then when I went back to that area... They were cool with me again. Oh, so well, that's good. They know how little they forget. Yeah, they're not I like know, elephants. Right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. They're like, "Oh, hi, nice to meet you." You're like, "But it, uh, it did hi, say, nice to meet you." <laughs> right. My standing with them did decrease, though. It was like your standing with this race has gone down. Yeah, so I had to be nice and... <laughs> because you shot them. Yeah, they say, <laughs> they say yeah, status side eye. <laughs> side eye. <laughs> I would love a little side eye icon in the bottom of the screen. Yeah, that would dude. be funny. They're like, hey man, just so you know, I mean, we good and everything, but we watching you. But we're watching you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> side eye. That's funny. That's good. Chris, have you thought again about picking it up at all? I have. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'll get it somewhere down the road, and right now should be the time I do it, but with the whole I've already got one game that's like taking a bunch of my attention Mm -hmm. and I want to finish my goal of finishing 10 games that came out this year and that game did not come out this year. So it wouldn't count towards that goal. And if I end up getting really into it, I'm just going to get stuck pulled into it. And Mm -hmm. I just feel like it might not be the best decision right now, but I do, (laughs) especially if Ed keeps with it, it will be a testament to me and I'll be like, man, I should probably give this a shot. Is it fun? Is the multiplayer aspect fun? Like, is there things to do together? Is it just like you're an orb and I'm an orb and we can see each other and I can dig and you saw where I 
uh, Doug. Yeah, I mean, I've not done like uh, hooking up with people multiplayer, but I know that if you do, you can like, oh, I need some of these resources. You can like trade resources with each other, um, that kind of a thing. But I don't. I haven't. That doesn't done sound it. deep. It doesn't sound like a really fun. Yeah, I'm. I don't know what it entails, so I'm not sure. I couldn't. I couldn't uh, attest to the mm. multiplayer part of it. Gotcha. Hmm. There you have it. Yeah. Chris, you said you're all out? Yes. Uh, Well, back to you, Ed. All right. Well, over on YouTube, uh, new this week, we've got No Man's Sky, part one and two. And uh, it is funny because um, I think uh, the running time on those, one of them is like two hours long. One of them's two and a half hours long, but I've played the game for like 10 hours. Have you really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, yeah, it's it just, it's it definitely a time suck. And it's one of those games that I, I, I say it a few times. I don't know how much fun it is to watch, Yeah, but it's definitely fun to play. So, That's crazy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go yeah. watch it. Cause I'm still not understanding what's fun about it. Like even you explaining it, I'm like, so wait, where's the fun part at? I know. You're yeah, like, definitely... you get to mine for things. I'm like, okay, but like, what about right. fun though? Yeah. Right. It's definitely not like an action. I wouldn't say an action game. It's sure. More, it's almost course. like a, it's almost like a space walking simulator. <laughs> it seems like the type of game. If you really enjoy inventory management type stuff. Yeah. That that's mm. probably, is that, would that be accurate? Kind of. Yeah. And, and, um, like each planet has a different rate of like just like how toxic it is. So when you leave your ship, you have to find certain compounds on the planet to uh, repair your suit, or else I assume you can die. Uh, that mm. kind of thing. So each planet you're almost you're always aware of. I've got to find safety at some you know somehow. Uh, so it's yeah. The and the inventory for me. Uh, because you start off with a pretty basic spacesuit, you don't have a ton of room, so it can. And I, and I don't know the game well enough to know what I should be saving and that kind of thing. So it is kind of a challenge, just as far as is it safe to drop this? Can I do this? So yeah, it's 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 a, a, a little bit of a puzzle in that way, I guess. Hmm. You know. Uh, yeah. it's a puzzle. Now I get it. <laughs> no, I get it. <laughs> and I definitely not play it. <laughs> and I'm out. That's interesting. Shouldn't have said the P word. Yeah, exactly. I give be YouTubing <laughs> everything. <laughs> right. Mm. But uh, yeah, that's uh, part one and two are up there. Um, Chris has got another H1Z1 PS4 stream up there. That yeah. You can check out and uh, enjoy his addiction. Yay. And then I put up uh, <laughs> parts one through four of Pyre up there as well. So you can kind of see what that is about and see nice. if that's something that you'd like to get into um looking at our top 10 youtube videos combining the average watch time and views for the week of july 23rd to the 29th uh number 10 q part 9 mountains yes number nine watch dogs 2 part 48 ghost signals mm-hmm. number eight married to the games episode 306 watch side dogs 2 right mm. i probably number- listened to that part of the show 15 times is that right <laughs> <laughs> just so cracking funny. up that's so funny that's awesome listening to chris like laugh along not knowing anything about west side story <laughs> he's like eh. <laughs> eh, I, I, I think that means a thing okay cool. yeah, exactly <laughs> they're laughing so i'm kind of laughing <laughs> i'm enjoying their enjoyment exactly uh number seven hugh part seven yellow Mm-hmm. Number six, Gabe and Chris react to The Last of Us Ooh, Part baby, Two. Baby, let's troll wow. them. Let's troll I'm them, telling baby. Telling you, man. I'm telling you. Number five, Hugh Part Four, Pink. Number four, Ori in the Blind Forest Part Fourteen, Thornfelt Swamp. Ah, that is just incredible. I know, right? I just love that the answer they're looking for isn't there. That's. I mean, that makes it even more hilarious. That's my favorite thing that's, in the that's world. That's more trolly than the, the, the Last of Us <laughs> thing. That's the reverse troll. <laughs> <laughs> the reverse troll. <laughs> uh, number three, Hugh Part Ten University. Number two, Hugh Part Eleven Ending. Oh. And number one, Watch Dogs Two Part Nineteen. There you go. What's paint job? Paint job. Yeah. Yes. There you go. And uh, we don't have any new iTunes reviews, but we do have some free Xbox games, if you're interested. Oh, Ooh. is that already? Oh, is, 
has both been it's announced? About that time. Uh, no, only uh, Xbox has announced. PlayStation has not announced yet. Well, what are they waiting for? It's about to be August. I know, right? Well, it's August already by the time people are hearing this. That's right. Get on it. Hello. Uh, and X- Xbox did it. Did, it's a pretty good month for Xbox. Oh, yeah? Um, uh, mm-hmm. Available all month of August on Xbox One, Forza Horizon 2, the 10th anniversary edition. Uh, I'll be downloading uh, it. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll probably download that. download that too, yeah. From August 16th to September 15th on Xbox One for Honor. Nope. So there you go. Yeah. Nope. No thanks. Uh, that's, a, that's a big game that I'll, I'll try it out and see what, what it's about. I did not like it. No? No. Nah. Uh, dang. You should uh, get it, Gabe. Yeah, it might be yeah, what it is. You don't understand it, dude. <laughs> yeah. Right? You wouldn't get it. You, you don't know me. Yeah. No wonder. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> August 1st to the 15th, Dead Space 3. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the 3 was probably the the least favorite of all of them, but Uh-oh. it's still fun. It's still is good. It? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I have to try that out. Uh, and then August 16th to the 31st, uh, Disney's Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two, which I thought was a really oh, fun shoot. game. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to download some things, especially the Mickey one. You. I could do that one with the kids. Like I was going to say, yeah, now they that may you have to plug have... in my Xbox. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> now that you guys finished that Pokemon game, Gabe, you guys uh, have a new one to jump into. Yeah, that could be fun. I like yeah. that. There you go. Thanks, Edward. You're welcome. Um, well, every week we ask you guys a question. Last week was no different. We asked you guys, what did you, what do you miss from old school gaming? And there was some mm. great answers, man. Oh, nice. So I would encourage everybody to go to the Twitter and the Facebook and those that are on discord, hop on there. A lot more people answered the question than I thought would have answered. So that's really cool. Uh, starting over on discord, Scottish bakery. I miss cheat codes. I remember getting an issue of Nintendo Power shortly after a new game came out, and they would have a whole section of crazy things you could do with funny cheat codes. It really opened up a lot of games to do more after you played the main game, and it made some hard games more accessible for younger players. Hmm. I thought that was great. A lot of people said cheat codes. A lot, a lot of people said cheat codes. Yeah, honestly, I don't know why I didn't think about that. Yeah, I used cheat codes like a crazy man back in the day when I knew him. Did you really? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. That was the whole reason I bought the gaming magazines was for the cheat codes. Yeah, for sure. That was your YouTube back then. It was. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's a weird puzzle here. Is there a cheat code? <laughs> <laughs> uh, calmed Fury. I miss LAN parties. Everyone has their own sweet TV and setup at home, so there's no reason to bring it over in order to play together now that we have easy internet play. Mm. So true. I used to love to LAN party it up. This was a really good one. I thought this was interesting. Jerk mm. alert. I miss being okay with only owning 10 to 15 games for a system and being content <laughs> with playing them over and over again. Mm. These, yeah. these days, before I'm even done with a game, I'm thinking about what I'll play next. And I own more games than I'll probably ever be able to play because of digital sales that, quote unquote, I just can't pass up. Mm-hmm. I thought that was so interesting because when I do look back on Nintendo, my Nintendo days, I personally, maybe it's because I was from single parent home or whatever, but I didn't have like sleeves and sleeves of games. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I had a couple at a time and probably he's probably right. I probably had 10 to 15 games max the whole time I had an NES. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, if, it wasn't for, if it wasn't for Blockbuster, you know what I'm saying? And things like that and renting games. But well, yeah, that's also because... We had to rely on our parents to buy the games for us. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, very true. Then, yeah, it's true. And now that you're an adult, you're like, I get whatever I want. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's <is> true. <laughs> um, over on Facebook, Daniel, hi. I miss the fun factor of gathering with your siblings and friends. The pure joy of playing all night during a sleepover will be something that sticks with me forever. That's great. I like mm. that. And in the same vein, Jenna Kirby, I miss quality time with my brothers. Aw. Get on that, Chris. I mean, right? it's a call for help. so far away. 
<laughs> <laughs> so far away in the same city. I'm the same kidding. city, but so far away. <laughs> and Jenna posted a picture. She got a victory royale. Yeah, she did. And she only plays on, on her phone. That's crazy. Yeah. She did say that she did a lot of camping and only had to kill two people, but still. Yeah. Hey. Good for her. I, if you handed me that game on my phone right now, I wouldn't be able to do it. I would be like the first mm. five people yeah. to. I don't, yeah, I don't think I could do it either. Good job, Jenna. Nice. Yeah, good for her. Uh, Dominique Alston, three things I miss. I miss the nights of playing GoldenEye with my older cousins and little sister. Hmm. Two, the Halo LAN parties where the losing team had to play on the small TV while the winners play on the big screen. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's hilarious. And number three, the NCAA football nights in the dorms during college. So much trash talking was going on those nights. Ugh. I just love how many answers have to do with playing with people. Yeah, mm -hmm. being together. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Thanks for that, Dominique. Um, over on Twitter... Delvin Cox at Delvin underscore Cox. Toys R Us. Rest in Aww. peace, by the way. Mm. Amen. He said, I will always remember the feeling of walking in a Toys R Us and getting a slip to take to the cashier to get your game. Oh, that's right. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I Me completely too. forgot about that, too. Until he said that, I was like, and it just came like rushing back when he said that. Yes. I was like, that's right. You had to take a slip over there. That's how I had to do it with my PlayStation because that's the original PlayStation that we bought it at Toys R uh, yeah Toys R Us and we had to take the thing up there and then I had to do it a second time because we bought a second controller. Yeah, because it only came with one. That's funny. And we didn't think about it right off the bat, and they were like, "Oh, we should also get a controller." And then when got another ticket, when stood lack in line. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Seth Roy at Seth Joseph Roy. He said, "Being able to pop a game in." push on and have the game start right away. Right. Mm. Yeah. That is so true. Rest mode gives you a little bit of that. Now mm -hmm. with the yep. PS4, I don't know. Does X Xbox have that same thing? Ed, yeah, they you actually just like, had it. They implemented they had it, before, it before right? PlayStation did. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They both That's announced right. it and then Xbox got it out way first. Yeah. I think I felt like that sound familiar. Mm -hmm. um, Jacob Hammond at real big Kong. The tech from Nintendo's gun, that thing is amazing. The Kinect, the PS Cam, and Wii just couldn't do it like that gun. That's mm -hmm. an interesting one. Because remember the gun, you just plugged in. And yeah. Yeah. there wasn't like a, you didn't have to have a camera. You know, where mm -hmm. the Kinect and the, like, and with the VR, obviously, and with the Wii motes. There wasn't a sensor or anything. There's always a sensor. Yeah, there was not a sensor with that. It was something in the way it bounced back off the tv i could not as a kid i could not for the life of me figure out how that worked <laughs> yeah yeah it only works on crts like it wouldn't work on tvs now but it was something oh, right. had to do with the way that the the gun shot out whatever like laser or light it ever shot out and its reflection back from the television i mm -hmm. feel like that was some, that was how it did it but it yeah, always did so. seem like magic like you just plugged in your <laughs> your nintendo and you could shoot at the tv to play duck mm -hmm. hunt and stuff. And then once you got the power glove and stuff, that's when they started coming out with that crazy three-point thing that sat on your television that was just awful. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for the answers. And let us know. They'll probably definitely let us know if I got that gun thing wrong. I want to know how that worked. Um, right. But you know where to find us. Facebook.com slash Married to the Games. Come join the group. Twitter.com slash MTTG. MarriedToTheGames.com. Come check out the website. Every episode is posted there, along with some shirts and mugs that you can get if you want to represent Married to the Games. Like Ed said, YouTube.com slash Married to the Games. And on Patreon, if you'd like to support the show, Patreon.com slash MTTG. And uh, Edward. Uh, rate us on iTunes and uh, <laughs> leave a review. And uh, I'm still tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Usually Bingo. on these early mornings, that is tough, by baby. Like 20 minutes into it, I'm awake and going. I'm still <laughs> waiting to get it's to It's because you're in a dark bathroom. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Actually, and you're I'm trying not to be quiet. And... 
Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Sarah was kind enough. She was like, "Just do it right here in the on the desk." So that's what Stacy like always tells me too. And I'm just like, "No, I'm not." You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you yeah. feel bad, right? You're yeah, like, no, I'm not doing that to you. I know. That's funny. Well, let's get into some questions. Shall we? We're going to start with Discord. We're going to start with Mark Boucher. So, my 30th birthday is almost upon me, August 29th, along with the gloved one, Michael Jackson. Mm. And I'm sort of at a loss for what I should do. What would you suggest? I don't know. Send me some money. <laughs> yes. Send me some money. We'll talk. <laughs> you crazy. Oh, no. Send me some money. <laughs> Am I abusing my yeah, isn't that, isn't that how they do it like in Europe or somewhere? Don't they give other people gifts on their own birthday? Do it, do it like that. Send us something. Yeah, sure. <laughs> be, be, a, be your own Santa Claus for a little oh while. Oh, my gosh. I cannot agree with what they're saying, but I can also <laughs> you know, not disagree with what they're saying. <laughs> you, also, you also would send it back. Uh, yeah, I do not confirm nor deny. <laughs> I don't know. As somebody who is not paid any attention and or cared at all about their own birthday since I was 21. I don't know what man is any other day. It doesn't. It's, it's, I is don't that a conscious important. thing when you were 21? Why 21? Or is that 21 just was the, the last birthday where I felt like I had anything to kind of look forward to. It was like, Oh, and uh, now yeah. I can drink now and I can, I can gamble <laughs> and I can, you know, Happy buy birthday, a lottery. I can one. do this other thing. I can get a loan for a house yeah. or whatever. You know what's like, funny? Oh, I was like right. you too. Cause I'm not big on birthdays either. Uh, number one, I'm a Christmas baby. And so like, you know, you yes, just kind of grow up mm-hmm. not caring about your birthday, but, um, so I'm not a big uh, birthday guy either, but I remember the last one I cared about was 25. Cause I was like, okay, good. Now I can rent a car from anywhere. Right? Yeah. And that was the last oh, one I looked true. forward to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My birthdays are just like, congratulations, you're one year closer to death. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I'm with Chris, too. I'm like, eh, it's any other day most of the time. My my wife's always like, what What do you want to do for your birthday? I'm like, I I mean, like not died on my birthday. That'd be good. <laughs> yep. Can I play some video games, maybe? Yeah, Something exactly. Like that. Uh-huh. For my 30th, um, I just had a party with a bunch of friends, and it was great. And just everybody come together, and no real agenda. Just come over, have fun, and just hang out. And that's yeah. what we did, and it was and mm-hmm. it was awesome. Jenny yeah. was mad at me, man, because she was, for 30 as well, she was like, let's do something, you're turning 30. And uh, I was like, I'm good. And you're like, no. <laughs> yeah. And I think, yeah. We, I, I think we just went to, uh, my grandparents were in town, because it was Christmas time. And we just went to like Dave and Buster's and I think there I literally go. played oh, some cool. arcade games by myself. <laughs> and it was probably the best birthday yeah, ever. Yeah, <laughs> and Jay just followed me around like, you know. Hmm. Oh, that's anyway. hilarious. I don't know. It's, birthdays are weird, man. I, I mean, I, it's like I have no problem celebrating other people's birthdays because I know that's the thing that they want to do and everything. But it's when you don't care about your birthday, man, people look at you weird and it's just like, I just does. Uh, yeah, don't. Jenny's the, all about celebrating too. I've just never been like that either. Hmm. Yeah, Good question. Yeah, I don't think I did anything <laughs> special for my thirtieth. I'm I, I enjoy birthdays, but I never really was about a certain number. So yeah, uh, I mean, I yeah. When I turned hit thirty, it wasn't any different than any other birthday for me. But I would say, man, live it up, man. Yeah, You're alive. Fun. You have Happy friends. 30th. Go do your thing. Yeah, mm-hmm, don't yeah. don't let us bring you down because, yeah. because nobody yeah. cares about birthdays. Some people We're love my wife Downers loves here. birthdays. I say, man, go freaking live it up on the town. Yeah, I, hang out I, with friends. I, and, and I think lo- too, family. like the the decade birthdays are something to celebrate. You know? Yeah. If you do I it agree. once every ten years, that makes sense. There you go. That's perfect. Good mm-hmm. question. Happy birthday, Mark. Happy birthday. Burnaby Butters. I'm doing a big presentation in front of 500 people, and today found out it's going to be broadcasted internally in the company and taped for people to watch later. Oh, geez. Oh, nice. Any suggestions, do's and don'ts, besides imagining people naked? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, do that. That always helps. Yeah. Oh, man. I always start out by lip syncing a song. There hey. you go. <laughs> as many dad jokes as possible. 
There yeah, you go. yeah. Just Always position the mic close to your like. Oh, chin. If it's not, yeah, close to your chin. Position Eat the, the mic. mic first, and take your time and enunciate, and it'll be fine. You'll be great. Yeah, I, I always. I would say if you. That, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. ahead. No, 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 go. Go. no, you. Go. Nope. Nope. No, 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 you guys. No, you guys. No, you guys. no, Chris, you go. <laughs> I always thought it was. It was. Uh, it made things easier if there's usually two or three people who are in the audience that are good at like nodding and smiling and yeah usually oh, the suck if, ups? You, can, if yes. you can focus on those people you kind of forget about the other um you know the people that might make you nervous by the, if it's a number thing yeah so if you kind of like move your gaze back and forth between a handful of people that definitely helps makes it seem a little more intimate yeah that's good i would say yeah just have the dad jokes on and ready to go Oh, there you go. And just I don't do them so many times that it gets awkward and then funny again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and nobody will ever forget it. That's yeah, right. That's and true, man. You won't be asked to do anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Don't, that's a goal. Don't make your presentation. I don't know what you're covering or anything like that. So this may not be something you would do anyways, but don't, don't make your presentation, especially if it's your first time and you're not sure how the audience can tell you, don't make it heavily audience participation heavy don't, like don't make do it to where that. they need to raise their hand or they need to give you an answer like don't say like well yes. what do you think is the the blah 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 and I don't hate that because if nobody's answering it's gonna just make it feel even worse mm-hmm. yep so i would just leave that out and then if it's going well and people are really gr- participating and stuff then throw a few of them in because you can usually do that kind of stuff by the off this off your hip you know you don't have to have it planned but just yep. make it all about right. you know, how you're going to present it and just hopefully they all get involved or are mm-hmm. interested or whatever engaged. Yeah. Oh, we have a um a voicemail question. What? Ooh. If you it. if you'd like to hear it. All right. Yeah. Good evening, gentlemen from Brazil and good morning mm. to the rest of you who are listening to this later. I'm calling you. This is Lucas Ham Swisher calling from Brazil. Hey. Walking through a mall in Brazil with my daughter. Uh, I spent the last local couple phone weeks number. at a uh, ministry and missions <laughs> camp helping in West teaching, Virginia. <laughs> uh, a lot of teenagers in Brazil about sharing the mission of God and those kind of things. Mm. And man, did I miss my family. Mm. So my question for you guys is, what's the longest you've spent away from your uh, loved ones? And what have you done to make the time go faster to get to them and then what's the thing you like to do most with them upon seeing them mm. hugging them kissing them going somewhere doing something fun uh god bless you guys and i hope you have a good show ciao nice oh, man thank you yeah lucas and swisher what do you guys do what's the longest you've been away from family and what what's your favorite reuniting thing to do edward you you and chris have a lot of expertise in this area yeah, um, I think the longest was uh, Sarah had done a Zumba tour that I think was like a month, I think. Wow. And Oh, wow, that's I th- right. I think that's what it was. And so, I, I mean, I played video games. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, did. Of course, yeah. like, like you th- should. And then when she got back, we, uh, you know, we're married. Played video games together. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> then you played more Lego Marvel <laughs> yeah. Adventures. Uh-huh. Yes, I got you. But we usually we like to do nothing. Um, really? Oh, just kind of like good. chill just, at the house yeah. and just like veg you know, out. She wants to, yeah, she wants to wind down from what she was doing. And so it's just like. Yeah, because they've been on the go the whole in. time. Or you yeah. have if you were the one out of town. Yeah. So it. Right. So it's just like, let's just hang out and just do nothing. There you go. That's awesome. Christopher. Uh, for me, it's kind of the same thing. The longest Stacy's been out on a trip, I think, was three and a half weeks. Um, there was one time when, uh, back when I was, did, would travel around similar the way she does where I was gone from my family for about a month. Uh, we had, to, we were at a store for like 32 days or something like that. So I guess a little over a month. Um, but it, it's just kind of the same way. Like when Stacy would be go away, I would just play games or watch movies or whatever, just pass the time. Mm-hmm. And then whenever she would come home, it was kind of the same thing. Like she, 
had either been working overnights or maybe she'd been working during the days, but they had been like 12 hour days or more. And so she just didn't really want to go. The last thing that she wanted to do the first couple of times was like, Hey, let's go out to eat to celebrate your home. And that's the last thing that she wants to do. Cause all she's been doing is eating out the whole time. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, I quickly learned is like, and made, to- made total sense. So I was like, look, we'll just, we'll just stay home and we'll just stay in for, you know, a couple of days until you feel like you're ready to move around and do some more stuff here at home. And right, so we use, yeah, right. we typically just like Ed, we just take it real easy and enjoy being back together. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tim, what about you? You guys aren't apart much. No, we're, we're really not. And Lauren's like goes to the stationary show every year or the gift show. And that's usually three or four days. But, you know, before we were married, we dated long distance for a while anyway, uh, especially right after college. Um, I was down here. She was up in Jersey. So we, we kind of got used to the long distance relationship. And when I proposed to her, like after like that, after that, uh, that day, like I was gone for like four weeks. So I didn't get to see her at all. But so, I mean, we I think we just got kind of we we were used to it. And then uh, and then when we got married, like we yeah, we've just been kind of together the whole time. Yeah. So I haven't I haven't had mm-hmm. a, a huge, a huge long. Probably what with uh, you and Ed or when she goes to stationary yeah, shows yeah. yeah yeah i'll play video games <laughs> no but i'm saying like e3 is probably the longest is that the yeah, longest you've been away so, for a, for a little yeah most recently yeah probably e3 yeah so but it was good and when, when we come back we do that we i like to do the same thing like just unpack and then just chill yeah and just have spend a day just to just all be together we'll watch a movie or we'll watch a series or something or whatever so yeah you know yeah, funny enough stuff. we are um opposite of you guys to where uh, obviously, I'm gone all the time, so we're used to it. But I think only the longest I've ever been away has been may- maybe 21 days or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, haven't been too crazy, but it's crazy because we have kids, you know. Um, yeah, that's that's what makes it a lot harder. But uh, when we come home, even though I've been around a lot of people, like our favorite thing is to go out and be out with people. Not like with mm. friends, but like go to the we'll go to the mall and walk around and let the kids do the the thingy thing the little playground so we can like kind of sit there and talk or we go out and have dinner with everybody and so um yeah we usually that's one of the first things we do is like especially after a long break it's like oh it's so good to see you let's go eat (laughs) right right just like go and especially for her because she's been serving the kids so Mm -hmm. i like that yeah now we get to go and have a you know somebody wait on us and she doesn't have to clean up and all that stuff all the things she's been doing every day yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's good. Great. Yeah, yeah, man. Good that's question. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Great question. Thanks, uh, Lucas Nova, and Swisher. Mm. That's right. Nova Flix. How long do you dip your Oreos in your milk? Hashtag asking the serious questions. <laughs> asking the serious. Right before it breaks. If it breaks off, you've done it wrong. Yeah, it's. Yeah, so that's what, fish I it think out with it's a spoon. like a ten seconds or so, maybe a little bit more. I don't know, something mm. like that. Yeah, I don't dip mine. I don't either. I just eat them. Oh, it's so good. I don't I dip either, right now. but my wife is a big Oreo dipper. I've done oh, it before, really? and I, I don't like have anything against it or anything, but if I'm just eating the Oreos, yeah, it's not even something that I think about doing. Yeah, I don't mm-hmm. think go get milk. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, don't eat this whole ream of Oreos. Yeah, that's pretty right. much me too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. But the times I have dipped when my wife is around, uh, it, dipping is delicious. It is mm. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just don't think to do it. Uh, B dog 1221. What's your favorite Eddie Murphy movie? Why? And what is your favorite line from that movie? Oh, wow. Uh, probably. Wow. Ooh, favorite. Uh, probably. It's got to be nutty professor. Probably for me. Ooh. That's a good one. And I mean, <laughs> the, the banter at the table. I mean, choose any of those uh, lines. I mean, they're yeah, all just oh great. Gosh. hilarious. Hilariously good. Uh, some subtle and then some and some like yeah it's just so fast paced that the 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 conversation just goes really fast and it's really yeah and the fact that he's everybody at the table except for Mm -hmm. the little boy is i mean just so so funny so i yeah all all that that's a great answer that's a really good answer chris yeah honest i don't i don't know if i could say i feel like that's probably the one i've seen the most times Mm-hmm. Um, just because you can watch it with anybody, you know, you can't really say that mm-hmm. about a lot of his movies. Yeah, that's right. Or some of them, yeah. anyways. Uh, and even though I know he's the voice of Donkey, like I've never gotten super into the Shrek movies. Oh, that's right. I don't know yeah, if that yeah. that counts anyway. I mean, I'm assuming yeah, it does. Yeah, Eddie Murphy yeah. movie. Yeah. But 
Yeah, shoot. I don't. It's probably got to be something from Nutty Professor. Yeah, that's go. really good, Gabe. That was mm. a good call, Ed. I'm gonna go with Bowfinger. No. Uh, oh, get out of here! Because Steve Martin. No, I just thought it was a hilarious movie. No, I, don't I think mean, I ever Steve saw Martin that. was in it, but oh man, it's keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. Uh, <laughs> There's no way you thought that was a funny movie. What? Oh man, it's just because Steve. Steve saves it. Yeah. I think Eddie saves it too, though. Playing the two, playing the two brothers. Ah, uh, maybe I need to see it again. I might need to revisit dude, it. I didn't like it at I, the time. I just like it. I and I, I'm kind of a sucker for movies that kind of like poke fun at the Hollywood system. Yeah. So, uh, oh man, I'll go. I'll, I'll I'll find it. Maybe it's on Netflix <laughs> or something. If it's an older movie, I'll go Golden Child. Oh wow! We, oh man, we loved that movie <laughs> way that way back. Yeah, that is a good one, though. Loudy. What about you there, Tim Router? Mine would have to be Trading Places with Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> and, uh, I just love that, that movie. Good. Oh, good. As, and uh, yeah, I think his line's too. like, man, man, when we had to make bubbles, we had to fart in the tub. That's probably <laughs> yeah. one of my favorite lines. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I ain't jacuzzi and nobody. <laughs> that was a yeah, good was, one. Oh, man, that, that was, was really so good. One. Such a good movie. I love that movie. Uh, uh, all right, moving on. Don Starlancer, uh, who was the First best friend you remember having, and what made them stand out the most? And are you still tight today? Mm. Uh, her name was Lee Penny, and it was elementary school. It was right after we moved here from California. We and I did have some best friends um, when I was before we moved, but those were more like my parents knew their parents, and so we just automatically became friends where Lee, mm -hmm. it felt like she was the first person I met like on my own at school. And then we were like me and our little group of friends were inseparable. Mm -hmm. And um, I haven't talked to her probably since then, but I did find her on Facebook because I was some story I was telling Jenny and I was like, I wonder if I could find her. And it took me forever to find her. And then I found her and then I got really nervous and I didn't like request her to be friends. <laughs> oh nice you got all because i was like got all nervous well yeah because you just never know for me yeah, exactly i never know if somebody meant more to me than i meant to them mm -hmm. right and so i don't want to be like remember when we <laughs> she's like oh yeah you were that yeah you did we did go to the same school and you're like oh That's so funny i i mean i thought we were best friends but it's fine <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. no no uh, okay not, no, not so no, much no, no, no. okay come on have beautiful children came back <laughs> that's so funny Jeez. and i feel i feel like it's it's i just feel like uh to me at least it's weirder as a guy if i'm the one that approaches someone like that like that i knew as a kid and it's a female yeah just oh. because i don't want to come across as weird yeah, the yeah right yeah so yeah i didn't even think weird. of that i just I, I just hope that i wouldn't come across like that right because right, it's like if right. they remember you the way that you remember y'all then it should right. be a sweet thing. You it know should, what I mean? but guys right. have such an amazing reputation online that it's <laughs> yeah. tarnished all yes. of us. Yes, very, very true. true. <laughs> so none of us can do anything. Yeah. So I won't be hitting her up. Yeah, I guess I'll stick with not doing that. That's funny. Um, when I grew up, there was a kid that lived in our cul-de-sac named Todd that uh, that we were uh, really close friends with and mom uh, babysat Todd and his brother. So they were always over at the house mm. and um, he still lives in the same, same small town and uh, we run into each other every once in a while. So we're not tight by any means, but we're definitely, if we see each other uh, it's, it's definitely really cool. That's awesome. So you yeah. guys have known each other your whole lives pretty much. Our whole lives. Yeah. I think when I was four, we met and he would have been five. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and neither of neither one of us could leave our yards, so we would ride our big wheels to the end of our driveways and stare at each other. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> stare at each other. Yeah, that's funny. Would you wave or anything, or just stand there? I like no, I don't remember doing it, but our our parents tell us that. Like you just go to the end of the driveway and stare at each other. Like, oh, All right. Children of the corn just staring at each other. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. Uh, Lord of mercy. What about you, Router? You know what's funny, and this might sound a little bit corny, but bear with me. So, Eve. because we were, we <laughs> because we were an the army family, the holy, family, <laughs> the holy, 
<laughs> Tim said him and Light are best friends. That's right. Me and me and the God, when you turned on the light, man, friend. that was awesome. Can you do more cool stuff like that. Uh, me in the star. beginning. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Um, so because we were an army family, we moved around um, quite a few times. So yeah. my brother and I actually were really close. Uh, mm. And we did a lot of the same stuff together. And so what would happen is when we would move into a new area, we always kind of stick together until either school started and then we like, or we just met new friends and then we'd branch off from there. So I've always been really close with my brother and he lives mm-hmm. uh, here in Nashville too. So yeah, I'm still, I'm still nice. tight with him. And he's a good cool. guy, right? He's a great guy. Like yeah, I really like guy. him and I'm like, but I don't, you know, I've yeah. not been around him a whole, whole lot, but you know, felt like every, you know, especially when we were hanging out heavy, like every, you know, couple times a year, I just really yep. like that guy. He is a he is a great guy. He's a great brother, and you know a lot of people saw how close we were, and mm-hmm. it really was just because we we kind of bonded so many times because we had to leave, and we didn't. It wasn't like we didn't move like every year or anything like that, but yeah. we would you know have a base. We would establish a good base of friends for a little bit, and then my father got stationed somewhere else, and so then we would have to move and exactly and there. And it was it was kind of it, there was one time the move from Virginia to to Pennsylvania, which is the longest we stayed, was really hard for my brother because he had a lot of friends. So we just hung out and we skateboarded together and and you know went to movies and did all kinds of stuff until mm. you know until we kind of got our our group of friends and then and then it just kind of naturally happened from there. So yeah, it was it was good. That's awesome. You he guys were guy. you're each other's constant. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's cool. So. Yeah, it was good. Great question. Uh, what about you, Chris? Oh, oh yeah, you, Chris. Uh, the first best friend that I can remember um, in elementary school or in kindergarten specifically, I remember the first like the first day or two. I met this kid that sat kind of near me. His name was Roland, and we just both really liked Ninja Turtles, and so we ended up being like best <laughs> friends for all of kindergarten. And then at the end of kindergarten. Uh, he ended up like moving away and I don't even know where he went. So I'm not in contact with him anymore. I don't even remember what his last name was. I just remember his first name. Mm, um, mm-hmm. But that was the first best friend I can remember. And I remember being so like bummed out that he was leaving. I was like, maybe, maybe your dad will stay here and he, his job will work out or whatever, yeah. what, whatever the reason was. All I don't even remember. There's something. Yeah. Kids were actual things that could happen. Yeah, and I definitely had because at the end of the day, like you would in the gym class, you would separate out based on like where you need to exit because you know there was pickup on one side of the building and there was also pickup on another side of the building. So they would have the kids separate so that if your parents picked you up over here and you could go where you needed to go based on whatever route they were taking. And I just remember doing the Mm -hmm. looking over at him as he's walking back and he looks back and just gives me this wink and then he goes by and I was like, oh my gosh, and my friend just. (laughs) Like the whole like walking in slow mo mm-hmm. as he goes out for the last time, you're like, oh man, that sucks. Mm. There you nice. Have. All right, Facebook, Matthew Serta. There is a scratchy noise coming from the attic. You get out of bed, grab your flashlight, and pull down the ladder. What is the absolute worst thing you can think of that is waiting for you up there? A demon. <laughs> a demon. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. What? Uh, <laughs> Am I wrong? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I don't think that, uh, I wouldn't think that's the way demons worked. If like demons are in the attic, then they got to be like the lower <laughs> rung demons. <laughs> like if they only have enough power to get through the roof, but can't get through the ceiling. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm not scared of that demon. <laughs> It's just that's cliff. the one that got the really crappy job in hell. It's like, oh, well, you've got to go scare the humans in their attic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like if that if that demon can make its way to the house, then I can bless some holy water. It's gonna be like the least blessed holy water, and sprinkle it on that demon, and it should work. It's just a bottle of Aquafina. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fuji, come on now. <laughs> Or Fiji. Was it Fiji or Fuji water? I don't even Fiji. know. That's Fiji. Fiji. <laughs> That's how broke we are around here. I would drink Nestle water. The same people that make chocolate. You're drinking the Lauren Hill brand. <laughs> right. The Fuji's water. <laughs> right. Uh, what say you? Cr- I, my answer is like a, a an animal. Like if it was a. What kind if, of animal? Oh, man. Like a bat or a raccoon? Yeah, I want to. Yeah, a shark. Raccoon? Yeah, I would say. Yeah, <laughs> a feral shark. <laughs> <laughs> Land shark. Land shark. I would say. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want like a, a 
Chupacabra or something like that. <laughs> Jump down from the attic. That'd be the worst. Chupacabra. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly, any creature that would come out and surprise you. Yeah, a mythical creature. Yeah, exactly. In my attic. Yeah. Uh, Just hanging out. Yeah. Chris, what say you? What's the worst thing that could jump down? Besides, oh, like, funny. obviously, you know, you don't want a robber to, you know, jump out of there. But so what's I the mean, worst thing to jump down from up there? I mean, honestly, like, it, it's not real. But the, I thought, the first thing that I thought of was those creature things that were in until dawn <laughs> those things are <laughs> those things are creepy and they were always just popping up in the weirdest places like oh my gosh so those things I don't remember me what out. that looks like you yeah, don't man oh you're gonna like a, come like like a, you're gonna remember here rabbit in a second when I send it to you <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> was that the one with Haley? uh whatever her name is that was on heroes yes. Hayden? Yes. hayden yes hayden hayden penitentiary. Hayden penitentiary. the wendigo i keep forgetting that that was actually a scary game like i don't remember whose let's yeah, play yeah. i watched of it but like i watched so much at the beginning, I was like, "This is not scary at all." But I guess I just didn't finish watching it. It was it, it was up. only scary in like the jump scare sense. Like it wasn't super like you weren't on edge necessarily the whole time. Okay, but people say but that the, was a good game, huh? It was, oh, yeah, a, good it was game. a good game, really good. Who did the let's play for that? Was that you, Chris? Yeah, Chris did. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Tim, what say you about hopping yeah, out of any, the attic? I, I yeah, if it's like a. Any type of animal that would just jump out would probably freak me out initially and then be like, okay, let's figure out what's going on. Yeah, but, but I um, think there's some yeah. animals that could hop down. When, when, like if a deer came down, you'd be like, oh, snap, there's a deer. <laughs> <laughs> a raccoon just happens to jump right into my arms. Yes, you know, any mm-hmm. of that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, any, that kind of stuff, you just, you just have to be wary about. Yeah. But, and, and clearly you need to clean out your attic or get an exterminator yeah, you, up there. Yeah, too. you might want to visit that place every now and then. <laughs> Ed, did you say yeah, one? Just a little bit. Uh, if you're not going to accept demon, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, we can, we but, can stick with. But you're going to say no chupacabra. demon, no land shark, no <laughs> chupacabra. I'm just saying it'd be a low tier demon if it only could make it to the attic. That's all I'm saying. You don't need to be scared of that <laughs> demon. Right. He can only go through one thing of plywood. I'm going to say uh, carrot top. <laughs> oh gosh! Yes. That's awesome. Yes, that would be the worst <laughs> ever. That's amazing. That's, you know, like his props with him and stuff. Yeah, he just, he just <laughs> falls down the steps with his box of props. Oh, that's hilarious. He's like, oh, sorry, man. It's dark up there. Uh, you should have a light. You're like, you're the worst. Please leave. I need you to see your way out. Why are you in the attic? No, no, I know why you're in the attic. Never mind. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, good question. Robert Daryl Good Jr., what is the most awkward thing you've ever had to do as part of your regular life? For me, I've never been shy about buying feminine products for a lady in my life. However, last week I had to buy some panties for my eight-year-old daughter, and I was trying to do a good job looking for her favorite cartoon characters and everything, and I couldn't but think it looked weird for a bearded white dude with long hair in his <laughs> late 30s to be carefully examining the little girl's panties in Walmart. Hashtag That's single hilarious. dad life. Hashtag single dad problems. Oh my gosh, uh, that is funny. Mm. No nah, man, own up to that, man. You're a dad with a you're a daughter, dad. Yeah, it's man. Totally fine. You gotta go through the motions. Yeah, you want to keep her in drawers, man. So you gotta do it. Yeah, that would help. Um, lordy, let's see. Most awkward, awkward thing you've ever had to do as part your... of your regular life. Mm. Wow, I don't know. That's a tough one. Cause I feel like I've, you know, there's so many things about my job that can be awkward. And so I mm-hmm. think oh, sure. having to cut off a conversation with a woman who wants to talk a little too close to Toby. Ooh, that's, the, yeah. that's the most awkward thing I have to do where you're like, ma'am, like, okay, all right, we've got to go. And Your she's lips like, are no, touching his. you one, might want to back up. Just one more thing. I, it's like, I, yeah, I know there's one more thing, but we gotta go. I'm sorry. You know what I'm mm. saying? That that's always awkward and I hate it, but like it's And I'm necessary. sure he gets that quite a bit too. Well, it's not that it's quite a bit, but when it happens, it's just bad, you know? Yeah. And, right. You know, yeah. there's been, you know, ladies that say that they're supposed to be married and you're like, but he's married already. You know, you know, and it's mm-hmm. just like, come on, man, let's not make this harder than it has to be. Yeah, no, no. Nope. Yeah. Chris, that's crazy. I, I, I honestly, I don't know. I mean, 
I don't feel like there's anything somewhat frequently or, or even occasionally that I have to do that's super awkward where I have to do it, you know? Yeah. I yeah. put myself in awkward positions like doing lip sync battles and other crazy <laughs> stuff that if I <laughs> fall down or I, I do something mm-hmm. crazy, it's like, well, I've got to ride this out, even though I just made a fool of myself. Right. But there's yes. nothing I can think of just in daily life that I, I have to do. Gosh, I can't think of something. Yeah, I can't think of anything either. Let's plays. No, nah, yeah, those are right. awkward. When you're doing the uh, the music ones, like when you did the 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 Mickey, the uh, what's Fantasia? the one? Yeah, Fantasia. I love Dude, that. That's not awkward. That's awesome. No, but it's just <laughs> awkward to watch because like you can't see you really. It's just like your little glowy them. icon. <laughs> <laughs> I love watching those. Those are your Guitar Hero ones. Oh, it's so fun. That's awesome. Where, where all the music's been muted because of copyrights. So exactly. It's just me that's playing awkward. the guitar. To or it's just you just jumping around. Round to nothing. <laughs> right. I love that. What about you, Tim? Do you have one? Yeah, I kind of got one going on right now. So Lauren <laughs> went away to work out. Uh, she, and this so early? Piper's up. Yeah, yeah. So Piper was screaming at the top of her lungs because she woke up. She didn't know where anybody was. So I, I went up to get her and just told her, hey, sit tight. I'm recording. And she, now she's in the closet with me. While we're recording, because she wants to say hi to the guys. There you hi. go. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, there's my awkward situ- situation right there. So, oh, I think she's kind of hanging out with us until uh, until the end of the show. There we go. Yay. There oh, and there's it. Saxton barking. All right, good. This circus just gets this better. Is, this is going great. M- yeah. M- mom, mom leaves for two seconds. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, mom's back. Oh, oh okay. Mommy. There you go. Yay. Hey, good timing, mommy. Perfect. There you go. All right. Did we get everyone? Yes. I think so. All right. Cattle and Chelsea, so I finished the sentence before I murder my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Finish the sentence. This one time at band camp. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this one time at band camp, I uh, decided to um, r- run away and, and go back home because I hate camp so bad. Is that true? No, I didn't do band camp. <laughs> I was like, what? You did band camp? That would be hilarious if you did, though. No, I, I, uh, any camp, just no to all of camps. Oh, wait, did you guys do band camp? Mm-mm. Yeah, but it wasn't I like a band. stay over like, at like a campground. It was just like you went to school and practiced marching band for a couple hours during the summer. Oh, okay. So what, what, what one time at band camp happened for you? I don't know. We marched around the city. <laughs> <laughs> Until the oh, city walls uh, came down, and marched around seven times. That's right. That's right. Blew your trumpet. Blew the yeah. trumpets. You know, Robert was there. Plot, the, That's right. I was there. He was inside Jericho. He's like, wait, 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 with all the marching. Your conductor was Joshua. Yeah, yeah we get right. it. He was in there in his high rise building. Like, what with all the marching? <laughs> <laughs> He's got his baton ready to go. All the clay pots uh, and breaking them and stuff now. Yep. Chris, one time That's at band so camp. Uh, this one time at band camp was a good line from a movie that used to be good back in the day. Ah, there you have it. Hey. There you have it. <laughs> I always yeah. wanted to say one time at band camp, you talked the the conductor into letting you guys do some Metallica, and you guys tore it up and won every competition in one state. <laughs> there you go. Well, there's that too. Oh yeah, there was that time. There was that time. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> yep. Perfect. All right, Brian Nebel. Each of you name a food that you hate or think tastes bad. Okay. After you all mention said food, let's hypothetically mix them together into a big smoothie. Oh, now, gosh. W- would you rather drink a large full glass of this yuck smoothie for $1,000 or do 100 push-ups for $100 or give me $20 to do neither? <laughs> asking for a friend. <laughs> or give me $20 to do I neither. I would totally drink it for $1,000. I would totally well, drink it for $1,000. we don't even know what's in it yet. But if it's just if it's food, what if I said poop? That's not food. It's poop. It's well, not food. you haven't met some dogs. Well, in, in some people, yeah, for some people. What up, Brody? <laughs> <laughs> what if it's poop? <laughs> what if it's poop? Um, yeah, I would say. Uh, let's see. What's a gross something I think is disgusting? <laughs> um, I don't like. Man, there's a lot of things, and they're green that I don't like. Um, 
I don't like, uh, man, I can't even think of something right now. That's like really gross. That like everything that I think is gross, I still kind of eat. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it's there. But then think of that thing that you kind of eat in smoothie form. Right. Like, I'm thinking this. Like, I don't eat fish. So, like, a salmon smoothie right now sounds oh, man. horrendous. Yeah. But yeah. I would still drink it for a thousand bucks. How much of it? I, I'd have Tall to, glass? Well, large, full glass. You have to do it. But we have to mix it with the other three ingredients from these fellers. Ed, what's your gross Yo. thing? My first, the first thing I thought of was beets. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love beets. That's, love that's beets. not too bad. Yeah, there it's not go. too bad. And beets in an actual, ju- juice, juicing beets is really good. The juice from a beet's good. Yeah. What say you, Chris? Man, I wanted to, like, ease it up with, like, saying kale or something like that, but my head first time went to catfish. <laughs> oh, yeah, God, really? So we have I know, catfish, see? They're salmon, so ugly. beets. They're just I know. so ugly. There, so, catfish is not, I love salmon. Not that I want to eat it in smoothie form, but yeah. catfish, I'm just not a fan of catfish. Is, I just don't eat a whole lot of fish. Is cow eyes fried. really a, a delicacy? Cow tongue is. I don't know about cow, cow eyes. Tongue is. Cow mm-hmm. tongue? I'm going to say cow tongue. That just doesn't sound. So we're good. eating a beets and salmon and catfish and cow tongue smoothie. Right? Mm. Yep. I mean, y'all are. I am. I honestly, I, I would I, give it a shot, but I don't think I could finish it, even with a thousand yeah, bucks in my like, I just don't know that I my body try. would do I it. I couldn't. i will do the push ups. What if we did this? If we ate it, if we drank like maybe half of it, that gives us $500, and then we do 100, 100 push ups <laughs> for $100, and then we still come out on top. <laughs> That's true. I think I would throw up doing the push ups after drinking half that glass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. I might throw up doing the yeah. push ups regardless. I would try it, but I don't think I'd finish it. I wouldn't. That's funny. I, you wouldn't even try it, Gabe. I, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even oh, want to be no. in the room with it. No, he would be out. <laughs> I'd be yeah, in the next right, room well, do, working on my push-ups. Like, <laughs> come back at eight tonight. I should have these push-ups done. <laughs> That's right. Good question, right, man. Gross. Great question. We got two more questions. Uh, Brendan Myers, which video game characters would you like to go on a road trip with? You can pick as many as you want. Ooh, a road trip with? Uh, I mean, I go with Sonic because we get there faster. <laughs> I don't know if we're just driving, unless we do a yabba dabba do car. Yeah, right. Or he could just push. Good night. Yabba dabba do car. He's uh, spinning his stupid ooh. little <laughs> hedgehog legs. <laughs> okay, Fred. Hit him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Caves just over there. Yeah, but never did. Oh, oh my God. Uh, it's hard not to say Nate Drake just because he's. I was going to yeah. say that. Even too. though yep. I, I did think he was the luckiest man in entertainment until I saw Mission Impossible last night. <laughs> oh, really? And nice. I go with Ethan Hunt being the, <laughs> the luckiest man. The luckiest oh, man funny. in all of entertainment. Uh, let's say Nate Drake. Let's say Sonic, just because he had that attitude. He might be funny. And let's go with uh, one more. Um, we're supposed to have three. No, no I'm just wanting to come up. Oh, okay. Just come up with another one. Uh, let's go with Booker DeWitt. Ooh, Ooh. nice. What say you, Edward? I'm gonna say Nathan Drake. Um, Kenny from The Walking Dead. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. You've already done that, kind of. <laughs> and uh, Batman. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. Which Batman? From uh, uh, Troy Baker's Batman from Telltale. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Not the Arkham like boy- Batman, huh? Nah, I feel like um, he's was- just too too gruff. Like, I feel like Troy's uh, had, he's like more of a human. Like, yeah. I can relate to him still. He doesn't seem as tough to me. Yeah. The other one seems tougher. Yeah. Like if we got into a problem. Exactly. Yeah. Chris? Oh yeah. Shoot, man, I don't I don't know. Um I'll say Ellie from The Last of Us One, only because she's gonna be telling me puns the whole time so I can laugh at those. That's true. That's oh, true. That's funny. Yeah. And then uh shoot, man, I don't know who else. I kinda like the idea of taking Aloy just because she would be amazed by everything the whole time. 
Oh, really? Does yeah. she get does she get that way? Well, I mean, she she's a primitive person and like finding out all this stuff, they would like be blowing her mind because, you know, she's primitive. Oh. Um, and then the other one that I would choose <laughs> would be Laura Croft. Let's just go ahead and round out your car with a, Yeah, seriously. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, you know what? I didn't even think about that. I was picking ladies. No, then let's go with the, <laughs> right. let's go with the dude. We're going to go with uh Max Payne. No, Gray Fox from Ooh, Metal Gear Solid. Go. Is that Metal Gear? Nice. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. I like that. What say you, Tim? I got um, Nathan Drake, Kratos, for some reason, just in case we run into don't some trouble. Don't do that. What? Well, what if they don't put I mean, cream in his coffee like he asked? Well, yeah, jack yeah, up the I whole mean, car over a, a so, small okay, detail. Let's, a manageable Kratos. <laughs> an older Kratos. An ambient okay. Kratos. If you, get in a boat, if you get in a boat, your car breaks down, you have to get in a boat, you know that he'll row you oh. there. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's very, and he might fat, tell you very some fast facts. on the rowing. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, exactly. an, Ambien Kratos. You know what? Ambi- <laughs> Ambi- and Mimir. Mimir was going to say. Yeah, dang Mimir it. I was going to say, Kratos, I want to edit yeah. mine. I want to kick out Aloy and take Mimir's head. <laughs> All right. So, we got, I got Nathan Drake, Kratos with Mimir's head. And uh, I'm going to go with. Um, Herc, too, because Herc would be awesome from Far Cry. Oh, he'd be, nice. He'd Dang, be that's a good answer, the, too. Shoot. He'd be the comedy in the, in the bunch. Man, mm-hmm. you guys and make I'd me want to change And I'd probably want to murder them that. all. I'm going to get out of my car, and I'm just going to get the Router's the car. Yeah, hey. right. Router's <laughs> the back of the station wagon, so you could just be along for that Yeah, ride. I'm just going to be like, hang that's on, right. I need to go to the bathroom, I'm just going to go around and get in the other car and drive off. Yeah. Dang it. I want to switch mine out, too, now. Shoot. I think I want to keep Nathan Drake, and I think I'm going to put Shaq in there from Shaq Fu just because it's Shaq. <laughs> and in the game, in the f- he's Chinese, which is hilarious. Take that right turn over here. <laughs> and the four guys from that Final Fantasy game? No. <laughs> I'm not taking all four of them. They talk the whole time. Uh, but they look so cool. I know. And I'll stick with Sonic. Sonic can stay. Booker might have to get out, though. Yeah, Booker might go. Yeah, I'll switch him out with Shaq. Who wouldn't, who wouldn't do that? That's right. <laughs> Good question. All right. Last question. Mike Doherty, what's the scariest moment of your life to date? Unintentional off-roading in the snow with my newborn in the back is mine. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Uh, that would be The scariest moment? Mm-hmm. Scariest moment of your life to date. We uh, mm. we were in an airplane and the engine shut off and we fell 16,000 feet and the masks came down. Oh, my gosh. That you had to put on. No. Did they really? Yeah, it was the worst. Ugh. Wow. I was like when 11. Was that? I was like 11 Ooh. or 12. It, uh, I, it was like, and I was too young to like be okay with it. It was like a roller coaster for you, a, right? No, I was so scared. But I was too I young. Not to, ruin I was, you for I was, flying. It did. I don't lie. Really? I can't stand flying. But, um, wow. and it was my first flight of two that day. Um, but God was good. And like the second flight, like, Felt like we were on glass. Like it was so smooth. Mm. It didn't feel like oh. a, a real plane flight. So was it was it like engine shut off and it wasn't a sudden drop or was it like a glide down or did yeah, you just it was drop? a glide down? Like and you just kind of Jeez. feel the seatbelt just holding you in your seat, like your butt's out of the seat. Oh my mm. gosh. Um because I was so young and I was so young that I wasn't like okay with dying. Not that I'm like super okay with it now, but like I have the maturity to be like, all right, it's my time. Here we go. Where mm-hmm. then I'm just like, ah, no, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right. like you know, that, that's the worst way to go, a plane accident? Oh. Yeah. And mine's, yeah. mine's actually very similar to yours in that um, I, I was we were taking off and like two minutes up as we're ascending, he banks right and drops like 5,000 feet or not even 5,000, like just drops for, Why? I want to say a good 15 seconds and did not say a word for the next 10 minutes like he he corrects the plane and then starts turning around and then ten minutes later he's like sorry folks when uh, control says that there's a plane coming at you head head on two miles ahead of you and they're going five hundred miles an hour they told us to take evasive action and I was like okay oh lord so, have mercy a- after I cleaned my drawers out <laughs> yeah, um, no, that's the right. rest of the the flight was fine but it's so funny to this day on takeoffs my hands get so clammy. Just yeah. thinking that like that's going to happen. Well, it's the again. most dangerous part. Takeoff and landing, the most dangerous part yeah. of a flight, anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he he nailed it. I mean, he did he did great. He he just it was just this weird. We just turned and dropped, 
for Yeesh. probably like 10, 15 seconds. And people were like, ah! You know and what's I funny? Went, ah! It's like a roller coaster ride. Yeah. I always have to tell myself that the pilots don't want to die either. Right. Um, because sometimes it just feels like, why are we in this turbulence? They, they are tripping up there. And yeah, I have to yeah. just remember, mm-hmm. like, they have families and want to be safe, too. So it's yep. just, you know, they're doing their best. Exactly. Chris? Um, the only thing that I can think of, I've not been, I do get nervous even now when I fly on landings and takeoffs, especially if it's a real turbulent uh, oh, landing or takeoff. They slammed us down this last weekend, like, Ugh. woke yeah. me up mm-hmm. out of a cold sleep. The guy landed us so hard. Ugh. And I also feeling. don't like flying. I, granted, I understand they have radar and they have, you know, the towers talking to them and all kinds of stuff like that. But I just get, yeah, when I'm in stuck in clouds, like forever, <laughs> it freaks me the heck out. I just cannot, <laughs> I, I cannot like deal with that. Yeah, doggy. It's freaky. So do you have a moment? I, have the a moment? only moment that I had, there was this one time in high school and we were, one time at band camp? Well, I guess you could say that, but no, not really. <laughs> no, we weren't at band camp. Uh, we were in high school and we were in my friend's car. It was like four of us friends. We were just hanging out and it was late at night and we're, you know, being dumb and stupid. And so there was this, uh, there was this neighborhood and it had it, it, this one little area, this big hump. Like it's one of those stop signs and then there's this big hump and it's oh, like nice. the sign mm-hmm. says dip. And yep. it was late at night. You, know, you can see if cars come and we're like, all right, we're just going to like punch it. We're going to hit this and, and like jump this little hump. And we hit that thing and went airborne and his car hit the ground and it lifted oh. up on its side and slid right towards the house no and way. stopped Whoa. like a little bit before. And then the bat, the two wheels that came off the ground, they went back down and went douche. And it was like this wow. in the moment. It was the scariest thing, but it was also like so exhilarating. I was like, that was amazing. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> what like if I would have wrecked wow. into that house? I know it would have been bad, but it didn't. So we were cool. <laughs> Amen. Amen to that. And I wasn't driving, so I was just for the ride. <laughs> yeah. That's two weeks in a row. Wasn't my dad coming on get us the keys? Yep. <laughs> That's funny. Ed, how about you? Uh, I was swimming in the Gulf of Mexico, and I think I stepped on a jellyfish or something stung me, and I did not think it was a jellyfish. <laughs> Would you think it was a shark right. automatically? Yes. Oh, and I, it's probably a stingray. I screamed did what? You? at the top of my lungs and ran out of the water. And I did not go back in. That is amazing. <laughs> I haven't been back in since. I know. <laughs> that is hilarious, Edward. That's hilarious. I love that. Good question. That's good. Thank you, everybody, for all the questions. Those were good. Yeah, Appreciate those it. are good ones. Um, so Chris is kind of the um, reason for this question this week. Hmm. Not saying that I did this, but mm-hmm. what's the la- have you ever nailed it when telling someone about a game? Like you ever told a friend about a game and they ended up loving it? Like I- I'm not feeling responsible for the H1Z1 thing with Chris, mm-hmm. but I was definitely like pushing him in that direction because I had so much fun playing on PC. And so when was the last time you told a friend about a game and they ended up really liking it? I'm going to say, is it okay if I take a little credit, Chris, if I say H1Z1? Yeah, Yeah, sure. I'm going to say H1Z1 with Chris McCracken. Ed? Um, I'm going to, and I'm not going to, I'll take partial credit with the rest of the crew, but um, Patrick Novosel with Overwatch. Yeah, there you go. Hey, there you go. Yeah, he's really liking that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like to, when I'm done with games, I, if, somebody's interested in something or has an idea like, Hey, I'm thinking about playing games of letting them borrow one of my games. So I let my buddy Evan borrow Witcher three and he just finished playing the campaign. And I gave that back to him in May or Mm -hmm. something like that. And he loved it. Like we talk about it all the time and he just, that's pretty fast. So yeah, he did really well. I mean, and he like, and he got involved in like all the oils and all the different potions to the point where he didn't, he wasn't even at my, at, I don't think he ended with at my level, but it didn't need to. He was probably half my level and could basically one hit kill everything in his site because he studied oh all the potions and like figured everything out. Yeah. Like he got into it. But how many Gwent cards it. did he get? I mean, we need to talk about what's he, You important. know what? I don't, I don't think he played <laughs> Gwent at all. <laughs> what? No, he was focused on the on like killing the beasts and like oh, doing the slacker. side quests and gaining an arm. He's an inventory <laughs> junkie too, so yeah. Not inventory I, I love when that it comes though, to man. cards, apparently. 
Exactly. <laughs> I love being the like I'm and I'm happy to to let people borrow my games. Like I gave another uh buddy of mine The Last of Us and he he came back on Monday. He's like, "Don't ever do that again." He finished it over the weekend. Like, he just, <laughs> no way! Wow, it was great. It's such a great feeling, isn't it? Just to be like, "Oh, yes, we nailed this! It's mm-hmm. perfect." Uh, and you just you're happy for them. You're happy for you. You're happy for the game, and you're <laughs> yes. happy for video games in general. You have this euphoric feeling, like, "Yeah, see, video I, game nerds are awesome." I totally agree. It's it's so cool, Chris. I love it. Um. The only thing that I can think of off the top of my head, because I feel like there's been games here like recently that I've done it, but I can't, I can't think for sure which ones like I could feel like I'm the sole reason that person tried that game. But one that I don't know for sure is that when I got my PS3 because I to start playing Call of Duty, my brother was like, "Hey, what are you? Oh, you playing a game? You got a new console? Or whatever?" I was like, "Yeah, you got to come check this game out." And he got hooked on it so much so that he went and mm. got a PS3 so we could play together. See, yeah, there nice. you go. Yeah. And were you kind of a reason for Kale to play H1? Uh, you know, I don't know if he, he may have already had it downloaded just because he knew it was free, but I don't know that he had actually jumped in. So it's, it's possible that I was part of that. I just don't remember for sure if he had tried it before I, I kind of started playing it up or not. Sweet. Yeah. Chris, you got me on Metal Gear 5. That's for sure. You know, I wanted to say that, but I was like, I don't remember if Ed, because Ed just plays everything. So I couldn't remember if you just started playing anyways or not. No, that was Mm -hmm. because of you, man. Nice. (laughs) Yeah, I played it because of you too. Yeah, but you were a chump. We don't, we don't think about. I that. played it for an hour because of you, and then was like, I can't do it. <laughs> I love it. What game have you told a friend to play, and they ended up loving it? Let us know. Use hashtag answer MTTG, and uh, we will talk about it next week. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm Gabe Patillo. That is Tim Router. That is Ed Placencia. That's Chris McCracken, and we are married to the games and we are up out this thing peace One, two, three, Mark. 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 Oh, oh man. <clears throat> oh, no. Yeah, that's how this morning's going. <laughs>